What's up, guys? My name is Ted Darklaw, and with me, as always, is the amazing... Oh my god, my phone is playing our show live. <laughs> <laughs> is the amazing Black Knight. Aaron, how the hell are you doing, sir? Dude, I, I'm doing great, man. Uh, pretty pretty relaxed day. Didn't do much. Uh, finally opened up some new boxes that came in this week. But other than that, man, doing good. How you doing? Oh, uh, you know, I've had a week. I've had a week. I've had a day. Uh, but, you know, I'm here now. I'm here with you. This is the highlight of my week. Uh, you always you always give me something to look forward to, Aaron. I, I don't get to see you every day, but Sundays, man, that's our church day. Yes. Preach on, my brother. Preach on. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, I believe we have a special guest today. We do. I actually saw it on the calendar. <laughs> you did. Oh, you get you get did the calendar thing. See, yeah. so so now Aaron and I are synced up on our dates, and there will be less confusion. That's you know, there'll probably still be a couple. <laughs> it's called professionalism. <laughs> uh, so I don't want to make our special guest wait too long, but uh, he is a toy photographer. With almost 17,000 followers on Instagram. Uh, he does promotional work for Ringside. It's Ringside Toys? Ringside ringside yeah, yeah, Ringside Collectibles. Yes, yes, yes. I should know my stuff. Should. And now Big Bad <laughs> Toy Store. As well as promoting the hell out of HelladopeToys.com, which yeah. we appreciate more than you know. So I would like to introduce our special guest this week, Mr. Realm of Toys. Frank, Frank, how the hell you doing, What's man? What's going on? I'm happy to be here, man. It's a pleasure. We are, we are happy to have you. I lost my show. I'm hyped. <laughs> um, so we got to chat a little bit uh, before we went live. Uh, you know, just kind of kicking the stuff like we always do. Um, but we got we got tons of questions. We we want to pick that brain of yours and Let's uh, do it. Perfect our toy photography. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. to me. Yes, but, but <laughs> before we get there, before we do that, I have a very important question that I gotta get off my chest. This is very important. Okay, okay, go ahead. Ready in church, brother. We're in church. We're gonna preach it to the choir. All right, let's go, Mr. Ted Darkclaw. What up, dope? All the hella dopers in chat and mm -hmm. across the world need to know this one simple question. You ready for this? I'm ready. What you sipping on? Oh my goodness, today in this amazing hella dope mug made <laughs> by the fabulous Simi Skies, Chloe Skies. I don't even know her name anymore. She changes it so much. I, I uh, creator of the hella dope mug. Uh, I am sipping on the usual hot teddy. You know, we got to work the voice. This mm. doesn't just happen. I sound like a nasally Ray Romano most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> On reserve because we all know Ted's gonna have the the hot teddy and the Miller Lite. No motherfuckers. No, off this week? not today, bitch. <laughs> you know what? Show's over. Um, <laughs> oh, good morning, Frank. <laughs> I, I, I have the king of beers ah, because nice. kings drink after kings. I got myself an ice cold nice. Budweiser. That um, is a nice choice. Now. Mr. Black Knight. Yes. Uh, the notes here, because Crazy Clown says I'm supposed to read these notes. I am mm. supposed to ask you, what are you drinking on? <laughs> you know what, man? Me and uh, me and Crazy Clown, we're gonna have some words uh, <laughs> next time we uh, cross each other. Um, but today I am sipping on something a little different today. Uh, I also, in I like those mugs, man. Oh, there is so nice. We have the to, we have to get your hella dope mug. Uh, I am just sipping on a straight Crown Royal Black. Oh, yes. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit of ice just for the chill. But nice. because it's already halfway done, because I started this thirty minutes ago, I also still have the strawberry still reserve. Nice. <laughs> Aaron's been drinking the same can for three weeks. <laughs> right. I, I keep I keep it in a little mini fridge down here. I'm like, you know what? Maybe they'll never notice that it's, it the, same it's the same can. <laughs> it might be empty. We don't know. That's his pecan. <laughs> Doesn't take no, breaks. That's the other show. That's over there. Oh. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. There, there, there's a big X on it, so we know. Not- <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes I like I read from like, oh, I have another can down here. Gr- oh, not that. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Too many times. Yes. All right. Well, we have a, a special guest, Mr. Realm of Toys, Frank. Everybody you here, you you're gonna be part of the club now. Yes. They got to know. What, what are you sipping, sipping on? on? Today I'm sipping on some boring shit, guys. I got some Pepsi and I got my ice. And I'm living the dad, I'm living the dad life right now. Dad hey. life. Yes, congratulations. We, we, we are all there. We understand. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, that's a better choice than what our previous guests had when they were sipping on Alka Seltzer. So <laughs> I feel like a step up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and if uh, Jason from uh, Three Geeks Podcast is here, yes, I'm making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> next time, I'll bring. Man. Next time, we'll bring out the black label or something. There Ooh, we go. Excellent. Yes. Um, so I, I do want to ask because you brought it up, uh, newborn child, right? Last week. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's been crazy. Is this your first, fifth, second, second? second. That's yeah. exciting, man. Boy or girl? Uh, boy, look, I don't even know. That's how I'm wild. I'm like, oh shit, it's, it's an alien. Like, it, it's something. It's, 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 it's something. It's up there somewhere. No. That that is awesome. Congratulations as a father to a uh, girl. Um, you know, it's a wild ride, right? You gotta. Uh, I got the pair now. So oh, so you got you got you. Then you already know. Oh yeah, <laughs> the team um, parties and shit. I know. Yeah. See, I I I have the luxury of having a really cool daughter. Who's much older now? Okay. Uh, she's 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 starting to get gray hairs, uh, but I get to treat her like my son and my daughter because she's just so flexible. So I can just That's bro awesome. out with her, and then every now and then she wants to be a pretty little princess or something. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah you look cute. <laughs> you don't look fat at all. You know, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's watching. I'm gonna get a text. <laughs> yeah, speaking of, <laughs> she's modding. <laughs> Our she's also our moderator. moderator. <laughs> our moderator. Uh, she does say, "What is up, though?" What up, oh. Miss Chloe Skies, Miss <laughs> Semi Skies. Uh, eventually, she'll get back to streaming on Twitch. Nice. I'm looking at you, Miss Semi Skies. <laughs> the people she's busy. need more Sims for product. We need. She's that. busy doing college girl shit. You know, we can't that. we can't hold her back. Yeah, no, she should do both. Get on that grind, girl. She got to get on that grind. Get affiliated, and then start getting those Twitch subs to pay for college. Real quick, what, what do you guys play? What are you guys playing right now? Uh, right now, I'm playing the game of how do I make this toy store work? <laughs> <laughs> same, same. I'm oh still trying God. to still trying to finish Red Dead from five years ago. I yep. Yeah, about six months ago, I popped into my save. I said, "Fuck, I'm halfway through. I don't even know how to fucking do anything." I, I started over. Yeah, uh, Red Dead. That's a, that's a good one. Uh, Spider Man. I'm still trying to finish. And uh, what's the, and then uh, Forbidden West. Oh, that's oh, that that's, that's a finish. good one too. I like that. <laughs> um, hold on, I we're we're I I gotta pop this up. Uh, shout out to Adam Yancey for the uh, callback that nobody but uh, me <laughs> and maybe Aaron uh yes. might might get. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Adam. Um, all right, well, we're gonna get into a fuck ton of questions here, but first it, of all. What, what what's in the what's in the chat here? Anyone do the chat? You want me to do the chat? You want me to do the chat? Oh, all right. yeah, let's just it. say what's up to everybody real quick. Yes, so, so uh, we got a modest again. crowd. Yes, uh, once again, uh, for my brother Adam, uh, still a little Ted Black Knight, West Coast. You're not on the West Coast, dude. You're, you're, <laughs> you're in the Midwest. <laughs> you're not from the Valley. What we from? Uh, <laughs> oh, I, 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 ho. Oh, uh, wow. once again, we got our boy Axion Figs. Axion, Ed. thank you for stopping in. My What's man. up, fellas? Just jumped off Valafair. Uh, I'll be watching the replay after the stream, or unless I Me pass too. out from you know all the drinking. Is uh, it over? Definitely want to. I, I, it uh, looks like it. I don't know. My screen went black over here, so I'm not okay. sure. Cool. I, I, for our sake, I hope it is over. Um, <laughs> but, but that's that's no. just me being greedy. Sorry, this is where the fun's at right now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Axion, once again, Ted's leaving. Crazy clown incoming. Uh, yeah, no. No. <laughs> Crazy clown on vacation. Oh, hey you guys, <laughs> it's your old pal Crazy Clown again. <laughs> Jesus, I hate you. My, my daughter's <laughs> petrified of that thing. Oh, oh my love God. the Boglins. You don't love want to clean your room? Take this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my God. 
All but right. yeah, um, that's the chat for the moment. Uh, yeah, yeah, cool. Then I'm gonna yeah, break right. open. I should have rolled it up like a nice scroll so okay. I could just yeah. unroll it. And <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. These are the questions <laughs> for Realm of Toys. You guys have some good questions. It made me think. Some of them had me think for a while. Well, you know, I, I wasn't sure which route to go. So like I said, I got greedy with them. And I was just like, yo, if I got 15 minutes in a room with this dude, I'm just going to be annoying as fuck. <laughs> be like, hey, dude, do you can, man. You use guy. I'm, uh, I'm here to chill with you guys. We appreciate that. So I guess, first of all, for anybody who doesn't know you, you know, give a brief introduction of who you be. All right. So my name's Frank. Uh, I'm a toy hoarder that turned into a toy photographer. And I'm just <laughs> I'm just learning as I go, having fun, enjoying the toy community, getting to meet awesome people like you guys and a bunch of other guys on here and just shooting the shit with everybody, having fun and, you know, doing my thing. You are keeping it simple. <laughs> you are one of our favorite people on the uh as the cool kids say, the gram. Thank um, you. The gram. <laughs> um, the gram. <laughs> the gram. Keeping it real here on this show is hella dope. So, what is your origin story? Okay, how do you go from just everyday normal Frank to having pushing 17k followers on Instagram? I don't even know your other social media numbers, uh, but they have to be insane. What 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 was from here? to there so i started out uh on instagram a while back and it was just kind of you know going to target oh look what i bought just you know like shit you buy in the stores just taking pictures of stuff and that's going on for a few years my instagram was it wasn't nothing crazy it was like a thousand followers or whatnot and one day i i believe this was like right before covid hit i started seeing some toy photography so I always watched The Amazing, and I used to see his little clips at the end of the videos with all the, the photography. And I'm like, man, that's pretty cool. I have that toy, you know. Maybe I should do this one day. So I did it playing around. It looked like shit. <laughs> it looked horrible. I feel that. I you feel that. All mine looks like shit. <laughs> you have, for me to take one good picture, you don't realize. I'll dump like 50 of them in the trash before I keep that one picture. Because I really don't know what I'm doing most of the time. I'm still learning. So I, I take the one picture and I'm like, yeah, that looks cool. Put it on my <laughs> <laughs> but it, there's like there's like my son in the background playing with his like Lego set and like my dog's like licking me in the face. <laughs> like, no, this is a great photo. People are gonna eat this up. <laughs> so Aaron, Aaron, are you taking notes for us? Because the first thing we're doing wrong is we're just taking one picture and then we're like fucking look at this bitches we need to take 49 more okay yes, no yes. don't do that you 49 don't do more uh, so only is... 25 more i have 25. ocd so i just keep shooting away <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome so so like a lot of people got hobbies during covid they were all locked in was were you locked down pretty hard some places were worse than others oh new jersey got hit hard yeah, you know, so you're just I, trapped in there and no other choice. And you're just like, I yeah, said, you know it. what? Fuck it. It's time to do something. I'm I'm losing my mind here. I'm staring out the window like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking out the window. You know, so I said, you know, I'm gonna give this a shot. I've been doing it, I like it. And I started realizing like a few of the photographers were just very welcoming, and they're like, Hey, you know, I didn't know you do this. I follow you, but not for those reasons. Mm -hmm. Hey, you should come check this guy out, or come check this guy out. And I made like a little crew of people I got cool with and they just started teaching me and showing me like, hey, tilt the camera like this or buy a camera like this. You don't have to get nothing crazy. And it just it just little by little, it just kept steamrolling. Mm. And I got a little bit more like serious with it. And from there, the shit just started. COVID was the re I think the reason why everything blew up. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, know, that was the like Twitch blew up. YouTube blew up like everything it, just shot up. It gave everyone that, that was at home that needed to find something to do to pass time. Yeah, it was like, like a release. I mean, know? even for me, and I, and I wasn't really locked down. You know, like like you know, our job we were we were wide open. Um, okay. So like, I'm still working, and I'm like, well, man, you know, I got I can't go uh, to the mall. I can't go to the grocery. Well, I can go to the grocery store, but like, you know, you can't do the you normal things to. you could do. Yeah. Oh, so, well, I got this PlayStation Five over here. I got I got a TV. Uh, I'm watching 900 YouTube videos on how to connect it all together and go live. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, for like 2020, that was pretty much all I did. I, I was on Twitch 
to say three to four days a week, almost four to five hours a day grinding. And then I hit, I hit affiliate with them and then I, I stopped. I was like, oh, I, lo- I, like, I lost it. I'm like, I did all that grind to get it. Now that I have it, it's like, man, this is, it's boring. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. But yeah, no, it definitely <clears throat> changed a lot of things. It really did. And um, one thing that got me excited that I steamrolled after that was I took a picture of, I think, Adam Cole or someone, and he actually DM'd me, and we had, like, a whole conversation. Oh, like, oh, this, this shit's sick, man. I really enjoyed it. And it just got me excited. I said, you know, I'm going to start doing this now. I mean, you got approval from Adam Cole, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's been fun. If you if you if you have jumped in, if you would have, I always watch. Like I don't, I don't know if you're on Twitch or not. If you like, like I follow his Twitch channel. Um, oh, he like, does gaming. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah he games like two three times a week or like when he's like not traveling, and like he he did he did a clip of one of the fans that he rated that like he was suggested to raid, and this person was in tears, crying because I mean this is like <laughs> fifteen hundred people in this guy's raid. And I'm like, man, if I would have gotten that, I would, I would have done it five days a week. Like, yeah. if you, like to have someone like a, like an Adam Cole or you know any big time like Twitch or YouTuber, and that's the thing. One of the things I think that YouTube really should interpret into like their platform is a raid like process, which we kind of like created our own, which we that's what we call the toy block. So okay. articulated Chad, he went on, then us, and then. Um, Sunny, the Sunny Channel. Yeah, so, like we got that black six-hour block of just toy talk. But man, if YouTube had that algorithm where I could just go like, "Hey, you know, we're getting ready to end the stream. Uh, we're gonna send you guys over there," <laughs> without having to like leave and come back, it's just weird. But, Listen, the algorithm is a killer, man. <laughs> I know. I'm trying. I'm trying to get these shorts going so I can get up in there. <laughs> Even for me, man, it's 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 an uphill battle. Yeah. Well, you're you're posting. You're posting quite frequently, and then you do like countdowns to like big posts. You know, like yo, I'm about to drop some shit. I try to keep it exciting. You know, if I have some free time and I don't have the kids, I'll try to do something cool. I I don't know. I just try to find ways to be exciting because I feel like it gets stale sometimes. But yeah, yeah, you're doing the same thing, and people kind of become um, blind to it. You know, just just there's a lot of people doing it now. You know, yeah. There are a lot of people. Well, that's how us as adults now play with our toys because how it started was, you know, we'd buy something and then we we would pose it and we'd be like, man, this looks so cool. And you just want to show, look at this sweet ass pose. But (laughs) when you take a picture of it, it doesn't always look the way it looks to you. Mm -hmm. And then you're just like, oh, what the fuck is this? (laughs) Um, And then suddenly you, you need like dioramas and then you oh, need God. lighting, and then you need a table, and then you you need everyone in this house to shut the fuck up. I'm trying to take a picture. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that's it. I need 45 <laughs> minutes. So, tell me about it. Okay, uh, um, uh, it's it's how the adults play, and I'm not surprised. Like it, it's blowing up more. Uh, I I love looking at toy photography. Most of the people that we follow on Instagram are usually like people who take semi-decent picture of their toys or you know people that post regularly and are at least trying because like that's something we like to support yep i enjoy looking at it i enjoy commenting on it and uh as a person who does it poorly as well as aaron you know like we 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 feel the pain like yo bro fucking keep doing that i'll see you in two years fucking (laughs) killing shit you know right i was here on the ground floor damn it (laughs) (laughs) Still got my dog in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> I still got my dog in the picture. <laughs> so you've been Wait. doing toy photography for roughly three years now, then. Right? Yeah, like like close to three years. Yeah. Um. And aside from D Amazing, was there anybody else that inspired you to get in on this? Oh man, there's so many people. It would be hard to list them all or name them all because I don't want to miss anyone. But there's so many guys. There's so many people. Um. There's someone that I'm really cool with that helped me a lot. His uh, He goes by Figure Kingdom. He also does a lot of wrestling pictures and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Um, just there's so many people. It's hard to name them all, but yeah, it, it, it's well. it's insane. It's just, it's too much. <laughs> it's too many <laughs> fucking people. 
Um, well, so do you contribute to any ACBA channels? Now that you mentioned that, um, that's another re that was another outlet for me wanting to start doing this because I started watching a lot of their stuff. And Boog Nice, I don't know if you guys seen his YouTube stuff or him on Instagram. He, I think he runs the ACBA. Yes. And they always used to do a lot of Marvel Legends stuff. And I was like, holy shit, this is cool. I got they, there's dioramas. What is this? <laughs> yeah. I was like, there's fucking brick walls that break. I gotta see this. So, yeah. yeah. I don't I haven't done anything with them, but I, I, I support them. I, I, I love I love everyone that does this. So do you edit anything or do you just take the shot and you're like, this is what it is? Like, are, are you using any kind of like stands that you're editing out or doing any post-production stuff? I'm going to show you guys real quick. Oh, I have, cool. so these lights, uh, mm. you, they're Yulanzis. I got them on Amazon and yep. they basically, you guys probably seen these before. They're, they're they in my car right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They change colors and stuff. I use two of those and that one big light that I showed you before. And I basically, my editing is very simple because I'm like a caveman. I do not know how to Photoshop. And I have no, <laughs> I don't have patience to learn this right now. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I, that's, why, that's why it. I have that guy. That, that He does all the Photoshopping. I give the idea. And he's like, I, can, I think I can do that. <laughs> Listen, I, my Poorly. uncle got me Photoshop. And I had it on my computer, and I said, you know what? Fuck this, man. I'm done. <laughs> <It's not laughs> <for me. laughs> I sat there with the keyboard for two hours like an idiot. Like, what the hell is this? I can't do this. Right. So the, I the use um I use an app called PixArt on my phone. It's free. Mm -hmm. And I basically just mess with lighting a little. I'll brighten things up. I'll 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 take out blemishes, little simple things, nothing crazy. Okay. And, uh, you know, a side note to the Photoshop, what I've learned from Photoshop, because I've been using it since I was 14, still God bless can't, you. Do, can't do a goddamn <laughs> thing with it. But what, what I do do is um, when I need some, like if I have an idea and I'm, I'm like, fuck, I could do that with Photoshop. And then I get yeah. in there and I'm like, I don't know how to do this with Photoshop. A uh, fucking three minute YouTube video will get me at least to fake it. And then I totally don't retain any of that information. Anymore. You know, you know the caveman from the Geico commercial. That's yes, me. that's me. I just, I'll just stare at the shit. Like I, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, no, that's, that's me too. That same three minute video that he just watched. I'm still sitting at the first forty five seconds. Like, ah, uh, where's that on the screen? That's yeah. me. That was me. I said, you know what? Forget this shit. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you're on Photoshop 10? Oh, I'm on like Photoshop 4 from like 1997. <laughs> like, yeah. That, that's half the reason. <laughs> that was me about five years ago, yeah. <laughs> then you see some of these guys adding explosions. And I said, man, yeah. you. I said, man, keep the credit, man. I ain't going down that route. I can't. I don't have the time either to, to be was, down there. Uh, a couple of videos I was watching on TikTok today. Like one dude had, it was it was uh, the Mezco Bishop uh, with like, it seemed like it was like cotton balls mixed yes. in with like those LED string lights. Oh, yes. I've done that. That I could do. I, I, I still can't do that. Yeah, that's that's crazy. <laughs> no, like, it's like actually it's balls simple. With the I, I, I could give you some tips on that. It's see, very easy. <laughs> see, Frank, you say simple. I still say I'm still at 45 seconds into the video. <laughs> like, Listen, if it's simple, me trying to, me trying to pose an action figure, like, dude, I wish I could like show you this bottom shelf. God damn camera. Like my my ability to pose things are horrible. Like I will, I will post a picture that's on my phone on Instagram later of my um, apocalypse and my uh, still reserve can. You, 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 you'll understand. Okay. <laughs> he, he, he's posetically challenged. Yes. I I got one tip though that's basically been like magic that changed everything, and that was a fifty millimeter lens. Did they make you that get for the iPhone? <laughs> no, but I'm saying <laughs> if you ever if you ever have like like. Even with me, like I started with a used camera, and I, I didn't do nothing crazy, but a 50 millimeter lens, it, it'll just like amplify the quality, mm -hmm. and it really helped a lot. Well, that, I'm not that good. <laughs> that that brings me to my next question: is what what kind of camera are you using, and is that what you you started with? What what did you start um, with, and where are you at now? I started with my phone. I started with my phone, just a regular iPhone. In my bedroom on my nightstand. <laughs> <laughs> my mine is my kitchen table still. 
Yeah, my kitchen table was a hot mess. I said, you know what? I'll do it right here. <laughs> um, <laughs> now I'm using a Canon M50 Mark II. I got it on, on Best Buy. It's like a $200 camera. Nothing crazy. That's awesome. And now, I, did you research that? Did you know what you were buying before you got it? No. <laughs> I, <kinda laughs> said, I said, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to try it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, everyone's like, man, this guy's got, what's, what's your tip? I'm like, I have none, man. Just fucking dive in and see what happens. <laughs> I just no, bought this I, damn camera. I thought it was a good I, idea. <laughs> I did watch one review and um, it was affordable at the time. And the guy said, you know, it's a decent starter camera for, for if you want to get into photography. And they had it on sale. And I said, you know what? I'll, I'll give it a shot. And it, it's been good. It's not, I haven't had any complaints. Hmm. Um. Aaron, I want to jump into the chat. I know it's not popping like normal, but I know there's some stuff lingering in there, and I don't want to leave our our loyal viewers hanging. Yeah, so actually, it's weird because like the chat was like delayed, like it didn't update for like a good ten minutes, but like we're good now. Okay. Um, Axion fix once again. Uh, this was referring back to the three POA. Uh, he's just reading through the super chats, which means they oh, should be wrapping okay. up. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, I'm happy if they wrap up. No offense to them. I'm going to go back and rewatch it. I'm not hating. I'm just saying I'm a greedy motherfucker. Uh, one day was things. enough of that shit. No, oh. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Axion again goes, uh, he dumps 30 plus picks for every good one. So um, shout out to uh, Ed Axion Figs. Uh, him and a gentleman named uh, Teflon3. You can put yes. the name in the chat if you want. Uh, they do kind of like a um, ACBA style series, uh, I believe, just using Action Force figures. There might be other stuff in there. Oh, but nice! They 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 work together and take photos and kind of uh, tell tell a story, which I've really been enjoying watching. It's kind of like watching a soap opera, though. Like if you just come in and you're like, I don't know what's going on here, but you just start going, and then it then it's cool. Um, so yeah. you can also backtrack. I believe all that's on Instagram. I don't know necessarily if both of their Instagrams coincide for the same story or what. Uh, I haven't gotten that far into it yet, but they're really fun to read when I'm uh, doom scrolling and what. I got to check so, it out. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I enjoy those a lot. Uh, actually, right, Adam, once again, here. My brother would <laughs> like you to uh, say, dump them in the marsh from like the departed. <laughs> you don't have to do it. I don't know what in the is. Mars. I don't know no. either. But... <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, the part is, the part is like a, uh, it's based out of Boston. Uh, oh, and, dump them know, in the marsh. <laughs> with Frank and having a very, very thick, you know, the New York kind of like that style accent. He just, yeah, but you know, Adam. <laughs> You'll you'll learn to love him. Don't yeah, I, well, we appreciate cool. Adam popping in. So, yes. um, you know, one one more viewer in here, one more guy to come show support. Uh, so, you know, Adam's gonna add him, but we appreciate him being here. Yes, uh, Axion, trust me, I, I actually got some. I got some things already on the phone. I'm I'm gonna be posting them soon for you. A bunch of a good inbox photography. That's the thing. <laughs> If you, if you didn't know, Frank, uh, inbox photography is, is my thing now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make it big. It's going to be huge. <laughs> Do your thing, man. Nobody's doing it. Hit that shit. Exactly. Hard, that's, that's the whole reason. Like no, like no one's stupid enough to do an inbox photography. Yes, I am that I, stupid. I, I, I was doing that. <laughs> you, that's, hey, I, hey, that's hey. What I used I'm still, to that's do. my idea, damn it. No, no you can have it now. Yeah, do your thing. <laughs> Uh, and yes, Ted, it is uh, it's the underscore Teflon three. Yes, good stuff. Like I said, check check them out. Like um, you know, they put they put a lot of effort into those photos too. Like you know, they set scenes. I'm definitely going to check them out. Um, you know, so it, it, it's cool to see that new avenue to toy photography. It's not just like a, a picture that tells a story. It's a series of pictures. They use word bubbles and uh, you I know, like they add some drama and suspense to it. So nice. Uh, definitely go check out both of them on Instagram. Yep. And he says, thanks. Same universe, uh, individual story arcs. Nice. Okay. I'm going to definitely check that out afterwards. Uh, and uh, once again, uh, Jason from uh, Three Geeks Podcast is here with us today, playing games on the phone with his daughter, so watching on TV. I'm glad we got the big screen, man. You know, we, we've, I'm glad you can see us in, in, in full beauty. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I hope it's like a good old eighty inch man. At yeah. least, 
I mean, not one of those. We'll, we'll, say, of we'll those take projection too, you know. Seventeen inches, you know. We gotta, <laughs> gotta blow us up. <laughs> you know what, Ted? I I just can't. <laughs> you guys, you guys are gonna give me a heart attack on this. <laughs> I've known this. I've known this man close to thirty years. Trust me. If I haven't had one yet, we'll be okay. <laughs> See, I'm a lot more fun when I drink my fun juice. Right, <laughs> Your fun yeah. juice. Yeah, you'll, you'll find out in like an hour and a half, like as the stream goes. <laughs> yep, when the when the drink switches, it's all good. <laughs> we're not we're not playing the Jeremy drinking game today. So, uh, which by the way, he had me going on Wednesday. Uh, really? I, I was watching on my phone, and I kept going, "Motherfucker!" And my wife was looking at me, and she's like, "What?" And I'm like, "You touched the again. Playing the Jeremy drinking game. <laughs> oh, um. My God. All right, back to Frank. You guys um, are great. So to do the extensive toy photography that you do, it requires dioramas at some point. So um, I know you do a lot of wrestling stuff, which, by the way, your wrestling background looks amazing, and I would like to Thank hear about you. that. But, like, what kind of dioramas are you using? How many do you own? And do you make your own? Um, I've tried making my own. And that shit did not work out. <laughs> it's a project. You no, know, I, I started doing bricks and stuff, and it, it's a lot of work. I, I just don't have the time. I, I'd rather just buy it from someone <laughs> and, and support them. And, you know, um, I got the wrestling backdrop is, is in, I don't know if you guys heard of extreme sets. They do like the cardboard dioramas and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I use, yeah. I use one of their wrestling crowd backdrops and just drop a ring in the middle. And shoot, but um, I did take out one of these to show you. I do have like oh. something like that with the door and windows, and it's just simple, like on the back is plain, but you can always add to it. Right. And this is basically like a material of like uh, I, I don't know if it's called like an insulation, but it you can get it at Home Depot, yeah, um, it's uh, like the Pink Panther foam stuff. Board. I don't, have yeah, like the any foam board. And I, I met this guy over at ToyCon, New Jersey. His, he goes by Lone Wolf Labs over on Instagram. And usually dioramas, are, you know, they're not cheap. No, they're, no. they're very expensive. And I met this guy, and he was super humble. And he was just like, you know, I want to make stuff that's affordable for everyone. You know, if you want it just to display in your glass case or mm -hmm. for pictures. And he sold me that for like 40 bucks. It's not bad. And I was on board ever since. And I see him at all the toy shows. He's, you could check him out on Instagram. He's a great guy. And he's always hooking stuff up. He's on Etsy. He's on eBay. He's everywhere. Yeah, I got one off Macari. It's like a, um, it's kind of like an alley, like street scene. Okay. Uh, and it's real cool because, like, when I put it together, I'm like, it has magnets in it. I'm like, that's amazing. I would have never yeah. thought of putting magnets in a diorama. Put magnets, yep. Uh, but yeah, that's like the only that's the only one that I have. I, I, I I've been looking at some of the cardboard ones like you're talking about, but you know, I'm not not that great at it yet. <laughs> yeah, I, I might do something for like a setup back there. I'm 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 a little annoyed because I'm on this I'm on this Jeremy leash here because I was like <laughs> I, have, I have pink foam board surrounding me everywhere, and then I'm like oh crap I organized this room so all my diorama stuff is all the way in this back corner you make I, dioramas I yeah well yeah so i i am one of those people that didn't want to pay for it and was like well I, I could do that so i did look into it and i don't remember who i learned from specifically there's some great resources on youtube but yeah that pink foam board is super cheap uh doing bricks awful awful it's, it's man. hard especially man. when you're doing a big wall like it's it seems fun at first until you're going over it the third time and but the man, lines are not straight <laughs> yeah yeah but once it's once it's done and you actually like get to paint it it's so That's rewarding the part. That's um the part. so the first one i did was the the dark claw pub which i didn't use foam board i used um crappy i mean it's it's foam styrofoam. Board, yeah, like it, well, it's the kind of crap that you would get for like a school project where the flat, the top, the flat surface is smooth, but then it's foam underneath yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I know what you're talking about. That didn't work as well, but you know, it came out okay, and I just haven't had time to redo it. And then I advanced from there. I did the turtles sewer scene, which I, I was very happy with because I used that half pipe from um, that skateboard. Tech deck. Tech decks. Yes. Tech deck had a half pipe. And I was like, yo, that would be a sweet scene in a sewer. So I made a sewer yeah. and then I made the back alley. So most of the 
honestly, if you go through our Instagram um, or look at any of our thumbnails, that's usually dioramas that I've, I've, yeah, made. I've seen a few. I didn't know yeah. you did them though. Yeah. I, I made them all. Um, I, the one, the alley one still has a wall that was sitting here that isn't finished or painted. Uh, I don't know if you guys know who random diorama is. He's a, Oh big, yeah diorama guy on instagram doesn't do a lot of youtube but he does a lot of instagram lives i've been meaning to ask him how to fix one of them and i just i keep saying like yo random will you answer my questions he says yeah sure anytime and then i don't fucking ask him <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like i need to ask random this shit. I fix this diorama but i tried implementing the magnets as well which does work better when for a while unless you do it dumb like me and then they fall out um would you glue them yeah I so so you gotta like them. you gotta like cut a hole into it and then dig out. Yep. And make the magnet fit in, and yeah, you glue it in there, and then you gotta line them up, and that's the hard part: mm. lining them up and making sure they stay in and they're deep enough and shit like that. But if I had more time, I'd be making a lot more dioramas because that's what the warehouse was. It was my diorama making toy photography studio, and then it nice. Then I I became a, a hoarder as well. <laughs> Join the club. You know, now I'm trying to shoot all out. You know, I need I need y'all to buy some toys so I can have my diorama room back. <laughs> Go to Hello <Hellado> Toys. <laughs> you got me <laughs> so, Buy this Alf. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. I'm about to say it's either Alpha or G.I. Joe next. Yeah, was, there we go. Yep, yeah, yeah, they're still here. I, you know me. I don't <laughs> Oh, you that. have him in stock? Yeah. What, this one? What, Alf? Or this no, G.I. Joe? G.I. Joe? What's yeah, that? The Crimson is, uh, Guard? Yeah, Crimson no. Guard. Yeah, the other, one's, the other one comes in next month, I think. Yeah, yeah. this week I'm definitely going to be on there. So. Yeah, yeah. Let us know. You know, the Storm Shadow. Well, you have a Storm Shadow, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, yeah, we got some Crimson Guards there. We got plenty if you're trying to army build. Um. Okay. So you you buy you buy your dioramas. Now I, I might have missed it while I was looking for my random dioramas, but how many do you have and where do you store all those? I basically have a hodgepodge of shit just sitting here right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have I'm in my basement, so I have like a small storage area. I, I kind of stack things up. Um I would say I got like 15, 16 around there. Some are plastic, some are made, some of those cardboard cutouts. So and I, I want to ask nothing you crazy. Your uh your wrestling ring, is that the like to scale uh version, or is it just like the toy like Mattel version? Uh so I yeah, that's the Mattel the creations one they did that Kickstarter they did a while back. Okay. I've been using that for my last shot I did today was that one. Okay. So it's like a scale ring. It's not like the smaller one. Got it. Yep. It's, it's more to scale, but um, yeah, they do have crazier ones I've seen online. There's a guy on Instagram who makes them out of metal and wood. Really? With springs yeah, and everything. That. Yeah. He made the TNA cage. He's done it all. So I want one of those. <laughs> That's very interesting because yeah. The, yeah, those plastic rings, they don't have the effect that you think they're going no. to. Mm -hmm. It and the feels, ropes it feels while, very plastic. Oh, yeah. The ropes, too. Yeah. They sag after a while. They're, yeah. They're they, cheap. Yeah, I, keep, I keep debating in that um, the one that's on Mattel Creations now, but I'm like, I really, I'd buy the ring, but I really don't want the Kane figure. Or I want the Kane figure, but I don't want the ring. I don't know which one I want. <laughs> But like at the end of the day, a few. it's probably gonna be both. <laughs> Wait, right now they got the is that wow, that's still available the one yeah. we came. Yeah. That that was a hot one that sold out a few times. Yeah, it's it's I, uh, I don't have that one. <laughs> they're getting a lot of flack for it right now because apparently, I guess the the cane that they came out with uh last year was a much better figure than this one. Okay. And I guess they're just trying to put this cane with the ring. To try to like move two pieces at once. <laughs> that re that last one was a banger, man. Yeah. If they yeah. not topping that one, I don't know. They never. I, I don't. I don't have it, so. I don't either. Um, but they do have that. I know the AEW rings are pretty good. I got two of them. Okay. I like those, and you get you get the the sting. They got one with a sting, yeah. and one with the ref. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, it was actually it's funny because you had posted that. Uh, you posted something. I was I was like, oh, let me let me see what's on ringside right now. And I saw it was like and I called Ted like maybe <laughs> 30 minutes after like, dude, they've got the AEW like announcer table with like all the like the screens and all that. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, man, I need to get that Tony Schiavone though. That that's like that'd be a gem piece to have. 
it's so funny because I'm so far behind. I don't have any of that stuff. I I, I fell off a little. Dude, you, didn't, you, know, you, my kid. you didn't tell Ringside, like, hey, bro, I've been I've been sending you biz. Like, you need to be sending me these goods. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put, put that put that smack on him. Like, look here, man. <laughs> How many now times they, has this code been used? You need to roll that back. <laughs> yep, they they do send stuff from time to time, but yeah, no, I, I just started with stuff them. I want that stuff that you want to send me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I know you've got like seventeen thousand Shayna Baszler's. I don't need that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't need that either. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, oh yeah, they just sent me one last week. Like, oh, well, shit, my bad. <laughs> don't, they, you guys ever heard of the store Ollie's? Yes. Yes. So, they just opened one down the road by me, and they had they had a shit ton of those just sitting oh, there. Ours as well. So does ours. <laughs> <laughs> but all Ollie's Ollie's can be good, right? It, it, and it depends because if you catch them, yeah. If you if you catch some good stuff, man, like I have gotten a lot of sweet ass deals off of yeah. Ollie's, man. Uh, Marvel Legends Gambit for like ten bucks. You found uh, Gambit for ten bucks? Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. I love my Ollies. Uh, there's uh, I don't Mine remember sucks. his name. He's <laughs> um, he's from Overwatch. He's got a, a mask and like two big guns. Reaper. They had Reaper. yeah Reaper. Reaper. They had the GameStop exclusive Nerf set with the two guns and the mask, which is nice. a fucking sweet ass mask. It's hanging on my wall behind this Detolf. Love the guns. You just can't double wield them because you got to crank them, and it's poor. Yeah. Poor engineering, uh, but that was like 40 bucks. So Ollie's Ollie's is good. And you know, I'm sure somebody went in there and was like, fuck yeah, they have so many shade of Baszlers. I'm so fucking excited. It made somebody's day. I There's mean, a guy that lives by me. He he just sculpts everything. This guy, I seen this guy recently, and he had two bins of Batman comic book, just the same comic book, two hmm. shopping carts full, and he'll just like ransack the whole store. I mean, somebody will buy them eventually. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's true. Well, those are they're probably Amazon sellers. That's what um, I told my wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I I follow a lot of the reseller groups because uh, you know I I used to get toy leads because before I had uh, an Aaron, I I was doing this off of like a, a budget of I think I started a hunt with one hundred and fifty bucks. Uh, so I would look for clearance leads. Uh, or things that were hot because I would just try to buy, you know, like that ten dollar uh, Marvel hey, I get, Gambit I give and sell credit, it for like twenty four. You know, I give them credit. The hu hustle is a hustle. Yeah, um, but and yeah, no, those those Amazon people like those prices. Amazon prices get crazy, and a lot of people jumped into it during the pandemic. Just like we all got a lot of hobbies during that time. Yeah, it was and, wild, man. And everybody was ordering off of Amazon, so it's like a huge heyday. And now, while it's still viable, I'm not mm. shitting on being an Amazon seller. Uh, it's not as good as what it was. In yeah, it, it dropped a little. Too many price tankers. That's what it is. Yep. Uh, yeah. They're they're just competing to to be the one that that gets the thing to sell. Um. All right, Aaron. Chat break. Sure. Yeah. We got we got a couple here. Uh, Axion figs once again. <laughs> uh wednesday night jeremy messes with those earbuds excessively yes uh yes <laughs> yes if you're not watching that show i have no clue what we're talking about uh check in on a loose but complete on the 3po podcast you will see exactly what we mean <laughs> we love jeremy though jeremy we jeremy's, we jeremy's one of my my favorite humans so but get 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 some over the ear headphones or something bro <laughs> jeremy <laughs> jeremy <laughs> uh Axion figs once again. Uh, Lone Wolf does some awesome stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely be dope. looking. At, I'll be looking at some of his stuff because I said I'm not familiar with it myself. Uh, Axion figs once again. You know, just blowing the chat up. Got got some good stuff. I know. What yes, we love about it. Yes, Axion inbox photos do need diet. <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> Hashtag inbox needs dios too. <laughs> Make it happen, man. I'm waiting for these shots. It's coming. Don't worry. <laughs> and then uh adam says uh ted's tmnt dios are hella dope <laughs> thank you adam i appreciate that um cool so all right so you're you're setting up for a photo shoot what is the time frame that you need because if you're throwing away 50 photos i imagine you're not like well i got 15 minutes i can go take some shots right quick <laughs> 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 let me tell you man the struggle is real so let's say a good day i'm not busy my kids asleep or or busy doing something else and not driving me nuts i'll come down and spend like an hour 
I'll have a thought in my mind, like, okay, I'm going to do this today. I'm going to try this out. And um, I'll take like a good 25, 30 shots and I'll keep like two. <laughs> but um, it, for the most part, when I think about it for a few days, I, I'll take like two or three shots and that's it. And mm. just use those. Because I had it like well thought out already. Where do you come up with your ideas while you're driving in the shower? Just something pops in your head while you're yeah, in the it's just random. It's just I go with the flow. It's like one day I'll wake up and I'm like, I'm gonna watch some WCW today. Let's mm. watch some Nitro. Yes. yes. And I'm like, oh shit, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna use something like that. Like I, I could see, I could see random. Like he, like like he's sitting, sitting in bed, sleep right, and like, like that good deep sleep have this dream about this fantastic shot wakes up out of bed runs downstairs <laughs> sets up the dial real quick like, i gotta get this shot i have to get it <laughs> you you want to hear a crazy story oh, i'm gonna oh, see, tell yeah, you a yeah, crazy story go. i'm ready so last week i woke up like at 5 30 in the morning i couldn't sleep i said you know what i got everyone's asleep i'm gonna go take some pictures i came down set everything up i'm doing that brock lesnar shot with him mm. throwing roman off the table my wife's on the steps. Hey, my water broke. It's time to go. <laughs> and and th and that's how that happened. Oh wow! <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I'm coming. <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> it was it was wild, man. I just left all. I left my camera on. The shit died. I home for two days. You, you know, the, it, sometimes that's that's a well worth the thing to happen. You know, the when the water breaks, you get you know, you gotta go. <laughs> like. You're, you're 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 flooring it. Yeah, you yeah. got the shots. You didn't turn everything off, but you got the shots. That's what I important. got the shots. Yeah, got the shots. Yeah. <laughs> so your water broke. Give me fifteen. I'm coming. <laughs> Still got time, baby. Still got time. <laughs> so, do you have a, a process or anything like a, a ritual, a system, like, do, or do you just go down there and, as you said, go with the flow? Yeah, I go with the flow. So on my Instagram, you could see it's very random. I'll just shoot whatever I'm feeling that day. Like you guys sent over that Dracula, and I had a blast with that. I actually got 10 more shots mm -hmm. saved that I'm going to be using soon. <clears throat> and, and the other girl, too. But um, it's just random. I just like to have fun. So it's like, okay, I haven't done this yet. I'm going to give this a shot. Or I like this wrestling match. So... I like old stuff. I'm not too crazy with all the new stuff. I like Roman and I like all the stuff they're doing now currently, but that attitude era, man, and that oh, yeah. golden eighties era, that's, that's, Absolutely. that's my, my two, hot spot. Two of the best, two of the best times. Uh, I'm going to throw up your Instagram <clears throat> here right now, <clears throat> since we're talking about some shots here and um, just kind of show some of the people what they're, is this the Roman Brock yep, shot yep. that you're talking about? <laughs> that's the water break yes. shot. <laughs> that's, that's the water break <laughs> shot. Had to get it. Um, oh, that's great. And then, yeah, so first of all, I love this one. Like, yes. how Thank hard you. was it to pose that? Surprisingly, that was one of the shots I did in 10 minutes. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I, I just got I got the Devon to bear hug him and I leaned him on the table a little okay. and I just I just positioned the angle just a little bit off and that's it. It was simple. See, that's one of the times where you can I guess you can cheat with that because they, he is moving towards the table because, you know, especially in like the ACBA world, sometimes they're real big on like, you know, balancing and you can't be having crap lean on other things. So that's, that's why it. I give him credit because it's not easy. Mm -hmm. it's not and easy. Then, Here's that Dracula shot, or one of them. I was excited for that. No, that I felt like I, that was. I, I love when, I, when I saw it in your story. Like, man, that that is a fantastic shot. I it, had this in mind, and I was like, man, I gotta go hard for these guys. Let me, I, I gotta do something. <laughs> I think that was the, that was like the shot of the month. Mm -hmm. is, I, is I really like that. So, did you have the accessory set? Is that what that is? There um, with all the extra stuff, the coffin. So that, that casket was from that super. I don't know if you guys ever seen super action stuff. He does like, like uh, blood props and like props for toys and stuff like that. So his new set is called the Casket of Cruelty. Oh, and yeah. it's that casket with a bunch of blood effects and eyeballs. And I was like, you know what? I don't have a casket. Let me try this. And he fit perfect. Wow. That's why. Yeah. Because I, I haven't seen one of them in person, I've seen videos and those accessories look amazing. I was like, holy crap. I yeah, it's pretty cool. Those. 
but I didn't know it was would be big enough to fit a, a seven inch scale. Thing. Yeah, he he fit perfect, and the the cabinet and the light fixture that's from Hobby Lobby from a doll nice. accessory. Nice. You could go to Hobby Lobby, go to the back wall. They got all the doll accessories, and that's what I buy for props and stuff. Yes, mm. love the doll accessory portion because that you, you never works. know when you when you need something random like i need a freaking couch or something like i need Yo, a no. couch. <laughs> yeah, no, good, yeah. Good to know. i'm gonna add that to my list check it out and their prices are great they're cheap go go back go to that, that yeah that one right there this one roman shot yeah, yeah, yeah this is so the like one this one i love this uh as you can see also um miss future night is in the chat she says uh rumble toys love your shots they are amazing she Thank is you. a huge roman reigns fan so like when I saw I that, I'm like, Man, I know she's gonna love that. Yeah, and you you kind of did this on a whim. Like we messaged you because I I we needed a thumbnail for a wrestling show, and I was like, yo, you got anything maybe elimination chambery? And you Man. Were, got you. You throw <laughs> the bat you. signal. I got you guys. Man. I got you because uh, like like you said, I don't have that type of backdrop. Like I could do something in the alley, but I don't have anything wrestling related. <clears> so that. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That backdrop, I I leave it up so it stays on my table all day. So hmm. basically, I just come down. It's just there already. So I was able to just knock that out quick. Nice, man. But yeah, now that is that the uh, is that the ultimate uh, Roman Reigns right there? Yeah. Okay. It, that's a cool one. It's it's a really good one. I, I've been debating because it's it's still sitting in my target right now. I'm like, do I? Because they, they have that one and they still have the Brock Lesnar there. I'm like, do I do I get them? Listen, both? my target just put him on clearance. Mm, see now, he was see like now, seven, he was 17 bucks yeah and see now now that's more enticing for me to go check out <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. right, i'm not trying to spend no 33 dollars on, on a damn figure right now yeah i kind of wait i wait till they go down too i got i should but at the same time like i was it my target's so weird like the things that like you would think someone would be grabbing off the shelf right away yeah it's still sitting there but like the the one-off that's like they only had two of like they're they're swooping those up left and right. Let me tell you, if I really love the figure and I, I I'm like something I'm looking for, I'll go get it. Like that target right. is dropping that bread heart all in pink. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. get that. Yeah, we we had a couple. We had a guy that uh, who's shop with us twice now. He's like, can, can you guys get that target exclusive? I'm like, well, it's a target exclusive. Yeah, I it's can, tough. I will get it for you. Yes, but I mean. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. <laughs> exactly. And it, it is not something that like I would not make. Actually, we'll probably end up. We're not making anything on it. If I did it, it's just to appease someone that's overseas who does not have access to it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to point out two more, and then we'll we'll move along here. First of all, this has uh, over a thousand likes, which does it really is yeah. amazing. Yeah, one thousand eighty three right here. Oh, uh, but I wanted to point this out for two reasons. One, Aaron and I are diehard. Uh, NWO fans for life. Oh yeah, uh, that's my you, jam. You got you got the Peter Parker in here, which is nice. <laughs> um, but the He's main the camera, reason, man. the reason I wanted to point this out is because this is the only good use of this Macho Man head that I have ever seen. Because I hate this head. Mm. Um, <laughs> I, I his, historically, I couldn't find any reference to it or why they would do it. Uh, I was really confused by it, but this is like the one shot where it actually makes sense. So yeah, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, that that I, I, anything anything NWO I'm loving. Uh, I mean, the only thing you need and there's a Sting one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know, and you know what's funny? I had him on my table, and I completely oh, forgot to throw him in. Shame on you. He he deserves better. He does. He does. <laughs> I got you guys. Stay tuned. All and right. then, uh, so I assume this is from the uh, Blood and Guts uh, accessory kit that yep. you were talking about, because man, that looks like an awesome shot. Right Absolutely. There. So Thank that you. is just blue tack, a little bit of blue tack. I'll pop it on the side of the face and stick it right in there. Okay. Well, how is he balancing like this? That. So that was same balance shot right there. Uh, let me grab this real quick. I have a, a little makeshift metal hanger that I cut. I don't know if oh, you guys can see it. Yeah. And I, I, I bent it and use it like a like a standing stick or whatnot. And I just edited it out on the Pixar app. I'll just like remove the stick. Hold on, okay. go ahead and pull that um 
pull that up again. I'm going to try to get you on a full shot here and not boot you out. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's just a hanger that I, I cut and I bent it. And I basically just propped the figure laying backwards on this. And on that app, I just edited the, the stick off of it. Okay. That's insane that that app did that so well. Well, it's hard. It, that took me like a good 20 minutes to try and do that. Man, I try I try not to do that too much because it's time consuming and mm -hmm. I want it to look more natural. But for that one, I wanted to try to get them like falling back. So it, it worked out. Yeah. When you have a vision in your head, you know, like so that that's my problem with the ACBAers, which they do amazing work, but they are so uh, content on or extreme about like yo we, we we do all natural stuff right we don't They're do very any strict. photo editing or anything like strict. that yeah. so trying to get a pose like that and find balance for that that's that's impossible and that's why i was kind of curious about it because yeah that, that dude looks top heavy you got his knees bent back he's just dropping yeah, yeah. so i wasn't yeah, sure if there was something on the other end of that that we couldn't see maybe holding it up or yeah or it's what? Just, the, just the stick and i i removed it i did a that's little awesome. magic on it that is awesome, man. Those are those are Thank some you. really good shots. Um, so I, I know a lot of people are oohing and on over your pictures here. So Realm of Toys 89 on Instagram. Thank go you. go follow this man because he, he's posting regularly. He'll bring you some joy every single day. Yeah, I man. try. Yeah, I try. Instagram, TikTok, he's he's on all the goods. <laughs> um, so we've talked about kind of your process. Is there a favorite figure that you have? that you love to shoot like like yo i always want to incorporate this guy or this is my favorite the thing that you take the pictures of the most i have a few oh let's hear them let's go uh i there's that ultimate Shawn michaels in red mm -hmm. the target exclusive i love that figure i could shoot that thing all day <laughs> and and i have a few triple h figures that i really like to shoot mm -hmm. But as far as besides wrestling, um, the Valiver stuff has been fun. I'm a hoarder, so I like everything. I got some Plunderlings. I got some Valiver guys. Uh, I haven't done Marvel Legends in a while, but um, yeah, it's understandable. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I say Shawn Michaels. <laughs> I say Shawn Michaels and Triple H are like my two go-to. Is there a specific Triple H? Uh, his Ultimates with the DX shirt. It's pretty good. Yeah, he got the butterfly joint, so you could get the the suck it going down. Yes, sir. Yeah. In shots. That yeah, yeah. The only good. Triple H I have is the SH Fig Yards one. <laughs> that's a good one. I don't have that one. Yeah, buddy, I got that. That that's a nice one. <laughs> I had hard, I had the Stone Cold, but my daughter broke it. Ah, <laughs> oh. she ripped yeah. them in half. <laughs> the, the only problem with those figures because they're nice. amazing figures, they just don't scale with anything else. They're and a like, little smaller, right? Yeah. yeah, it's maybe like five inch. Yeah, it's like five and, a, five and a quarter. We were supposed to get Vince, man. They didn't give us Vince. <laughs> yeah, they made like what, Aaron? Three of those, and then they just stopped. No, they made they made four. I was made, at Comic Con and got to see it. <laughs> they made The Rock, Triple H, Stone Cold, uh, and Undertaker uh, and Kane. Undertaker and Kane. Yeah. Okay. And then Vince was supposed to be number six, and they never did it. He was the one I was waiting for. Yeah. We don't yeah. get enough stuff of him. Yeah, there's not a good representation of Vince McMahon in my mind. Um no. Like and I feel that's like more that was more like because of like that's him. He like he while yes, he, he likes to play the ultimate like Mr. McMahon character at the end of the day. It's like he don't want know. the spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the spotlight when I need it, but other than that, just leave me out of it. Like, yeah. like, like his Hall of Fame induction, like he's like I don't want to be in the Hall of Fame. He's gonna be in there. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't want to be in it. Disney will put him in there when they when they buy it. <laughs> Disney will put him. In. <laughs> it's it's coming. <laughs> uh, all right, chat break. What's popping in the Chizzy chat chat? Uh, we got a couple what, things. Oh, uh, the hella doper saying once again. Uh, that drag shot is hella dope. Yes, thank you. I'm definitely looking forward to see what you do with that drag in April and that uh. Right of um, Frankenstein, April O'Neil. I got something planned already. Yes, sir. I'm eagerly waiting. Uh, Adam, uh, this is with reference to that uh, Devon uh, picture. Got to get the tables. Hell yeah. <laughs> Axion, once again, uh, Cascular Cruelty. 
Uh, what is this? My computer's acting slow. Uh, I just got it. It's insane. Uh, it's I've seen. Like, there's even brains. It. There's brains. Interesting. Yeah, that my you can is the eyeball. That yeah, that, the little you know, eyeballs. Yeah, because yeah. it's it, and that's so perfect for like action force stuff or. I guess NECA horror stuff as well. It works mm -hmm. out really well. Did but. you hear what Instagram is doing now? Like if you no. post things that are that are very vulgar like that, they'll yeah. they'll I guess they'll we're getting demonetized again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I, I they were very specific. It was just gore. They don't want too much gore. So oh no, that's fine. Uh Facebook for some reason says that we won't ever be uh monetized by them. I don't even know what we did. <laughs> We went live on Facebook. That's what we did. <laughs> they still let's go. Like we can still go live. It's just like, I, like is it was it was it was it a music choice that we? I, I, they won't say what the reason is. Like you give me Listen, a reason, man. fine, I'll accept it. But you're just like you, you're never gonna be monetized. Well, fuck you, man. I don't give a shit. I, I, I'm gonna keep it hundred with you. They they talking and complaining about all this stuff. What about all the sex bots going on? Right. I got like a hundred of these things popping up every day. Yeah. <laughs> We have, I'm like, but they we don't have do one nothing. Like episode four. They don't do nothing about that. <laughs> well, now I'm starting to feel a little jealous because no, no sex bots come knocking on my door. <laughs> I just get spammers from Nigeria. Oh my <laughs> god! Who call me dear? <laughs> no, no, no. no, a scammer. Frank, Frank, let me tell you. Let me tell you. So, like, I, I, I kind of want to like copy and paste this conversation and post it online. So we get this lady from Nigeria, right? And like, she's trying to like sell us like you know ways to increase store volume and like this is great, yeah, cool. Ted's over here playing in an entire game. Like he had a full on conversation. He like she she drew he drew like a little picture oh, of them and stick God. figure form high fiving each other. Like <laughs> it, it is the most entertaining conversation <laughs> I have ever seen. Hold on, let me see if I can get the picture. So. So her shtick was, uh, we're gonna we're gonna pay her one hundred dollars. Okay, she's going to log into our Shopify store and add some things, and that would give us twenty two thousand dollars a week in sales. And like I was questioning this, and she said, "Hold on, let me give you an illustration." I was like, "I'll bet this chick's gonna draw me something. That's cool." <laughs> so while I was waiting for her response, oh man, you're not gonna Hold be able on. to see it. Uh, I can see it. I can see, see it, it a little bit. Um, a little stick figure. <laughs> while, while I was w waiting for a response, I drew her a picture too. And uh, I said, <laughs> I also drew you an illustration because I didn't understand what we were doing um, because she just sent me a website link. And then she said, okay, because uh, there are pictures of me, stick figure, holding up two bags of money, and then somebody <laughs> over the side being real sad. And she said, okay. I said, the guy with the hat is me, you know, because I'm hearing the money. And she said, who's the other person? I said, you, because you have to work so hard for so little. So I drew really another one of us high-fiving. This, this made my day. And oh she, my she asked what that was about. And I said, I said, that's us celebrating because we're both about to be super rich. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pay you $500. <laughs> and then, oh and then I... I had to go. I told her uh, I would ask my mom for 100 bucks uh, and get back to her <laughs> after I got some pizza money. So the, I've been kind of just stringing The most off. entertaining yeah. conversation oh, I've ever God. had in a, in a Shopify inbox app. Um, you can't make this up. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, this now I great. know the, the Vala Fair is over because we got some more guests, Aaron. So yes. keep going with the chat here. We'll say hi to everybody, and then we'll get along with the questions again. Absolutely. Axion Figs once again. Hobby Lobby is the shit for Dios. Uh, they are. Duly noted. I will keep that in mind for future. Check them out, man. Dios that I don't know how to build. Uh, Jason from uh, Three Geeks Podcast says that those photos are dope. Yeah. Thank you. I gotta say, if you're not following, definitely follow them. Always posting great material. Loving it. Uh, Axion, once again, uh, Vince will Hall of Fame post hummus. Um, what's hummus? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to ask. Is it? <laughs> just, I, I don't know. <laughs> look, look, we're ignorant folk here on this show. So <laughs> like, can't be talking about hummus with us. I just finished saying I'm a caveman. I can't Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using the big words there, boy. Is that, is that, can you eat that? 
<laughs> you, the, you put the little, yeah. pita, the little pita bread in. Yeah, and you know, yeah, 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 yeah. As yeah. soon as Vince is done with his hummus, he's going to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Understood it. Uh, Largo's Lair, welcome. How you doing, Jim Largo? Yeah. If you're not following this man right here, please follow Jim Largo. He is doing a very uh, good, um, what is it, the lore of Valiverse. Yes. Uh, oh, like, I got to check that out. Yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was, I think it's episode three he just did recently. Uh, so if you're not following that, definitely check it out. Really good stuff. I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to check that out tonight. Yes. Jim reads all the stuff and all the lore and breaks it down. So you don't really? have to. A nice little 30 yeah. minute segments. So you can get so much about a certain character. And that way, if you know, you don't have time to read the books or you are not interested in buying books. Uh, he he breaks it all down there, and it's really in depth and nice. Uh, Ooh, him like, and uh, Wilhelm, yes, Wilhelm yes, is Wilhelm. his co-host for that. Uh, he's Ooh. saying, "Whoo, uh, Valafair got me spun up." Ric Flair, whoo, were those reveals? Uh, Hello, dope, getting <laughs> some of that new Valaver swag in the future. Jim Largo, baby, you know we gotta get that that Valaver swag. As long as we got the money. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so we need you to go buy those, <laughs> those albums and G.I. Joe's. <laughs> uh, we need to go, go ahead and buy those now so we can get the bankroll going. Yeah, we got to move these so we can make room for more Bobby stuff because not only are all of your wallets hurting, uh, our bank account is hurting <laughs> hey, as well. You, quick okay. question. You guys ever sell on or get on whatnot? Uh, so no, only because we are licensed to not be able to with certain uh, brands that we're with. Gotcha. Uh, and okay. being one of them. Okay. Yeah, we could sell the GI Joes on there, but like probably only twenty five percent of our inventory we could actually uh, legitimately move on a third party site like eBay, Mercari, whatnot, marketplace, gotcha. whatever. Uh, and it's just more of a anti scalping thing. With yeah, yeah. those companies, which you know, I appreciate. Um, but yeah, no, four horsemen would never they mm -hmm. they would they would call us up and yell at Aaron so badly. <laughs> they, they already they, yell at me enough. They, so they, they, that's their <laughs> hobby is yelling at Aaron to the point now where I don't want to talk to him. I'm like, yo, really your client now. <laughs> I, I always find something to screw up. Like I was so um I was posting the retail exclusives, right? And I have I have three screens, and I was doing three different things, all involving pricing. Okay. And I had put the wrong price on the uh, four of uh, the uh, Headless Horseman, and I okay. had tagged uh, Four Horsemen Studios in it. I get a <laughs> message that says, uh, "Hey, uh, I just want to let you know uh, that's the wrong price." I'm like, "God damn it, not again!" <laughs> so yeah, like now I have to like make sure like before I hit submit, like okay, price sheet that okay submit this screen first <laughs> then if it makes you feel any better i would have did something worse <laughs> see see he, here's the thing if it was just one time though <laughs> no i i can't it's multiple <laughs> I, i'm i'm that guy that'll run into the same wall like six times oh yeah <laughs> like, I, I, we submitted we submitted our order for necronomus ne he's like oh yeah we got your order but uh <laughs> one of the numbers that you put in there doesn't match my like, god Come on. Yeah, this is why just, you also don't submit a toy order at two o'clock in the morning. Needless to say, the, the four happened. horsemen are not going to be having a beer with us when PowerCon is over. No. So I mean, I'll still offer one, but you know, yeah, you know, they're done. He's, they're gonna he's be like, offering. They're they're we're gonna be like, hey, we're the guys from Hello Dope, and they'll be like, Oh, the yeah. all motherfucker. <laughs> 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 all right, we got we got derailed there, Aaron. We'll just finish up the chat here. Uh we got we got Jeremy up in the chat. You're how you doing, Jeremy? <laughs> uh, we weren't talking about you earlier. Uh, don't don't worry. We don't watch the your headphones. No, we if love you. If you get a package in the mail with some over the ear headphones, we don't know where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll throw a hella dope logo on each side, bro. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's figure that out. Holographic sticker. We oh, speak. Oh, hold on. Hold on hold, well, you finished the chat. We're already derailed. Yes. Already derailed. Uh, we'll come back to that. Uh, you know, Gracias. Steel Brigade tomorrow. I will definitely be looking forward to watching that one. I love the Steel, Steel Brigade. Brigade. That's probably one of my faves outside of the uh, uh, the Swarm. That's that's probably my ultimate favorite. Me too. And then, uh, <laughs> Jesus Lord, Axion. <laughs> um, 
That's you know, la- laugh out loud. Auto corrected. <laughs> okay, we we understand now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He wasn't um, so, about hummus after all. <laughs> or he probably still is. It's okay. Uh, but Ted brought up. Uh, we actually got some some new goodies in. Uh, we're going to use them for the Columbus Toy Show. We might. We'll probably have some more for PowerCon. But we just got in these awesome hella dope uh, holographic stickers. Nice. And so, we'll probably be throwing those in orders in the near future as yes. well. You know, go stick them on your local light pole or phone booth. Phone booth still a thing. Go slap it on that. Uh, dirty bathrooms. <laughs> oh yeah, right. dirty bar Slap bathroom. <laughs> That's our clientele right there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And also going on to 20, 23 uh, post video. Oh man, you uh, caught me last week with this. I spit my whole drink out. <laughs> are we? Uh, are we good? Don't on worry. The I, I started the whole thing. <laughs> uh, no, we are, we are going to have to make a compl- compilation video of that now. There's just too many. Um, all right, we ready to go back to questions? Yeah, we're caught up on chat now. All right, Frank, are you ready to go back? To I'm questions? ready. Let's all right, it. man. So you showed some of your lights earlier. You posted these uh those two square lights, and then uh, I think I was on my siesta. You were talking about showing Aaron another light. Are those the three lights that you use? Where can you get them? What's the price on those? And why okay. do you like them? So these little <laughs> Ulanzi lights, um, they were like 32 bucks a pop. And they're wireless. So they're my favorite so far. I tried them out on a limb. They work really good. They last for about a week before I have to recharge them. And I could get any tone, any color. It's all on there. So these are on Amazon right now. The name brand is Ulanzi. If you guys want to check them out, they have tons of different lights. If they don't wear this, it's already in my cart. <laughs> <laughs> and this one was like a smaller one I just picked up with the stand. Oh, that's nice. They had a deal. It was 30 bucks for two of them with the stands and all. So oh, no shit. See, I'm these, mad, are, these right? are wired. They're not wired. Right? I have I have a similar one. I got it from GameStop. And okay. like the GameStop by my house, they had like back when they were running that 50% off clearance sale. I'm like, man, I should I, like, you get two for the price of one. And I waited so long. They had the lights? Time, yeah. By the time Ooh. I got it, they only had the one light left. I'm like, oh, damn it. So I'm going to like all these games. I was trying to find this one light so I can have two on each side of my desk. Can't find it. Damn. But yeah, man, this I, guy. Yeah, they had they had those. They had green screens, but the green screen was still expensive, even at fifty percent off. It was like hundred and eight bucks. Damn, what kind of GameStop is this? Uh, <laughs> my West, GameStop don't got shit, man. They got that West Side like, GameStop that you know listen, people feel fearful of walking in. <laughs> down here in the East Coast, my GameStop literally has one peg. With the same four or five Star Wars figures for like three months now, <laughs> and there's nothing else. Yeah, and no, I walk in there and I'm like, "You guys still open?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they when they were doing that fifty percent off clearance, so they I mean they were bringing in a whole bunch of stuff. Like the, you know, they had like the uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection uh, helmets of like the Lord Zed, the Pink Ranger. Oh, I've seen that. Mine. I got the yellow. Me. I got the Yellow <laughs> Ranger Power Morpher. Uh, I got the um, Snake Eyes replica sword, which I'm trying to find. Oh yeah, that into the display somewhere. Good for you, man. I saw everybody finding stuff. I went to mine all hype, like let's get this shit. What you guys got? Uh, same I shit got from these, last I got time. Star Wars figures that I had last week. <laughs> yeah, it's the same shit. You know, we got some new games. I think <laughs> I, I added a new sticker because it's you know a different <laughs> price now. <laughs> I think the shirts are like two bucks off now, but that's about it. <laughs> So uh, we, we've learned a lot today about your toy photography journey. And I feel like, you know, you, you've probably already answered this, uh, you know, early on in the beginning. But I want to ask it again in case you want to elaborate anymore. And this is going to be a, a two-part question here. And that is, um, what advice would you give to uh, somebody in the chat, somebody new, somebody who's watching this and like, yo, toy photography sounds cool. This guy can do it. I can do it too. And then what advice would you give to yourself in 2020 if you could go back Hmm. and talk to him now? All right. So we'll start with the first one. I'd say the biggest advice I can give is and tip is just have fun. Enjoy your toys, man. Open them up. Enjoy them. 
And yeah, just Aaron. let your imagination run wild. <laughs> <laughs> just have fun. That's it. I feel like if you're not having fun, you're not going to. What's the point of this? You know, we're a bunch of grown ass men playing with toys. You got to have fun. The last of a dying breed, unfortunately. Right? You, you got to have fun. And I feel like without that, that's like the, cre- the key ingredient to this whole thing. And just learning, asking, getting plugged in with, a, with the toy community and finding people to talk to. I'd say my biggest thing was I was a loner. I didn't like to talk too much. I was kind of to myself. And if I could go back and do that now, I just ask a million questions, start talking to a bunch of people and just asking, hey, how'd you do that? What is this? Like, what, what can I do to, to, to get better at this? You know, I kind of, I did that later on and, and learned a little bit more, but those are the two things, I think. Just keeping it simple and having fun. See, I'm surprised to hear you say that you're a loner because you, you've you been uh, very much like an extrovert. Like, we came into the green room, like, there were no nerves. You were just like, what's up, guys? And we're like, fuck yeah, dude. And we had a, a great time <laughs> talking, and you're, you're pretty... You, you've been pretty sociable to us uh, online. Um, so it, you seem like an outgoing, I, I like talking to everybody type of person. So to think of you as just like hold up in your own little hole, like I'm not going to talk to anybody or ask anybody anything. That doesn't seem you like know, the guy like, I'm talking to now. I think when I first started, I never really spoke to anyone. I was always to myself. So now that I, I got to speak to people and I got used to it, you know, I just, I got used to hanging out and, I feel comfortable around everyone and you guys have been awesome. So mm-hmm. it's like, I feel like I already know you guys and yeah, it's been, it's, it's good times, man. Awesome, yeah. man. Um, and to follow that up. So you come off as incredibly humble and you have a pretty significant following with again, pushing 17 K. If there's anybody in here that can help that number go up, let's help Frank get to 17 K. Uh, Thank realm you. of toys. 89 on Instagram, and then we'll we'll let you plug whatever other socials you want at the end. Listen, we'll um, get to 17k. I'll do a cool giveaway. We'll do awesome. something cool. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, but you know, some people in your position they they form an ego. Uh, they well, like, oh, I'm not gonna talk to you, I'm not gonna follow you. Uh, but you are nothing but kind and appreciative to us and um you know you're you're very interactive with your community you're always giving thanks anytime somebody shares your stuff you're just sharing it right back like yo thank you so much what where does that come from how do you how do you keep yourself down to earth i feel like that's one of the most important things is just to acknowledge everyone because when i was like doing this and starting out there was like one or two guys that were like, hey, man, I appreciate that, you know, and, and they would give me shout outs, you know, and it's a good feeling, you know, and mm-hmm. it also boosts morale for other people that are doing this and, and starting. And it's, it's like, why not help everybody and just be a big family and just get everybody, you know, mm-hmm. just get everybody on board. Let's all it's fun, you know, so I try my best to just respect everybody and just do the best that I can when I'm on there and just hang out. Yeah. we we very much agree with that like the toy community should be a community and there is a lot of division nowadays yeah yeah um you know that's not not our issue but we we like being a part of the community and again we love watching you know people post up pictures just like you do like yep. that's cool like you go buy this alf and I didn't, <laughs> <laughs> that's not where I was going. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, buy this elf at hellodopetoys.com. <laughs> now I took some pictures with this elf and my pictures were like boring. You know, he's just sitting there and he's just doing elf things. But I have seen other people take this elf and just do some wild stuff with it. Like he's in the brat's car. He's. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. He's murdering uh Doing, doing a lot of fun stuff, and I think that's cool because I'm like, I didn't fucking think of that. I just have him standing here in a shirt, you know? <laughs> yep, that, that's how I would have had him. <laughs> doing a cool drive-by. To, <laughs> cool to see the imagination, and I think it's awesome that that you stay aligned with your community and that, like, especially, again, with somebody with such a big following in the toy community that's also out there just showing appreciation. Like, yeah, I just feel like if if people take the time to support it, it's only fair. I take the time and go and support as well. So I try to always make that something important. I do. Um, I'm going to ask one question. You don't have to 
delve into too many details if you can't or don't want to. It's not That's our cool. business. We're just curious. Uh, after that, we're going to do the chat while Teddy uh, unrents some of these. Uh, <laughs> but can you talk to us about uh, your current ringside exclusive or ringside collectibles deal that you have? Mm -hmm. So you have 10% off if they use your code, which you're more than welcome to share here. And then you also have something with Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, how did those come about? Um, what do you do for them? And is there any benefit for you? And again, you can give as much or as little on that as no, you No, like. no, I'm open book. So ringside, um, I started with them a few months back. I say, yeah, like a few months back. And um, I have a promotional code with them. And I basically get product and do photography for them. There's a bunch of us that do photography there, so they kind of rotate us. And whenever they, they want something specific, they'll email me and they'll send me, like, let's say that CM Punk, that bloody figure they just showed. Mm. They'll they'll probably ship those out and say, hey, we need like seven pictures for this. Can you do this for the Instagram? And it that's basically it. And I have the code. Is it, is it any... Say, uh, any specific picture or is this like, yo, we need pictures of this. <clears throat> he can be doing whatever. Um, they'll, they most likely will let us do a lot of stuff, but they'll give us guidelines like, Hey, don't do this or try not to get too crazy. You know, mm. cause this is like a PG show, even now, though the figure is a bloody, but <laughs> <laughs> did they, did they scout you out? Like, I know you do a lot of networking. Um, did they, they yeah. come find you or were you? Like yeah, in the beginning, I, I, I kept in touch because I have a bunch of friends that do stuff with with them. And um, yeah, they basically hit me up one day and we just kept talking ever since. And I got I just moved along from there. They That's gave awesome. me a code and same thing with Big Bad. I recently just spoke to them like a week ago. And really they were cool. just like, hey, you know, we want to try you out and see see what you can do. And it's it's just been simple. I don't have a code with them, but they have a link. Mm -hmm. So okay. I have like a specific link I share. And if you click that, th that's how they keep tabs of everything. Okay. Now there's specific toy photographers for certain uh, toy companies. So like, uh, I believe one six is like the official photographer for mythic legions. Is that right? Yeah. One six shooter. And then does mythic legions. D amazing does a lot of stuff for people like that. Is that something you're trying to get into? Um, I haven't thought about that. I kind of just go with the flow. So, um, if, if the opportunity presents itself, I'd be willing to try it. I do a lot of stuff for playmates with the Ninja Turtle stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've done a few projects with them of upcoming stuff they got going on. Uh, so I've done that with them, but nothing like outside of that, like Mezco or anything like that. Shoot but I'm shot, open man. to it. I'm open to it. Yo, so, so, you know, when uh, all these important, important toy people are watching the replay of this, go hit up Realm of Toys 89 on Instagram. He Be wants to take it. pictures of your toys, man. Like, <laughs> like, I'm surprised the Plunderlings people didn't hit you up or something because that they seems did. right up your ass. Oh, they I did. did. I did stuff with them once. Well, oh, tell nice. them to give us a call because yeah, we've been trying to get in contact with we've them. We've been knocking on their okay. door. They don't <laughs> I, answer. I haven't spoke to them in a while, but when they first came out, they sent me a sample to, to do some shots. That's really cool, man. Yeah. Um, I did Valiverse, too, when they first came out. Really? Nice. Yeah. Wow. Well, when, when we when we talk to Bobby, we'll, we'll remind him, see if he's still interested in uh, doing, doing something else, you know, because... Uh, I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, Bobby's still waiting on that stop motion that you. I know, do I? Freaking, I'm so busy shipping out these alfs, man. <laughs> Everybody wants one. I mean, and, yes, and they that, do. I might be mistaken. This. Oh no, I got one more back there. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they're they're low inventory on alfs. What does it come um, with? We can pop them open right quick. Uh, so he actually has a lot of fun accessories. Sorry, the glare on this sucks. Oh, that's cool. Uh, but he has a bowl of popcorn, which is really nice. He has a can of Pepsi, and it's named something else. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but it's named after it, – it's a reference to somebody who participated in the show. There's like a bag of spinach balls. There's a picture of his dad. But the coolest accessory is right here which is the cat sandwich. I need to, I'm going to buy that. And then he comes with his shirt as well, which fits on really nice. 
uh, for soft goods, like it's, it's a little tough to get on <clears throat> and off, but I like that in soft goods because that way I know it's going to be nice and tight. It's very form fitting on him. It looks good. Uh, oh. He has a pair of sunglasses that don't fit on as well, but I don't lose them as much as the uh, action force Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you found that yet? No, I, I lost. I never lost mine. I just dropped. I them actually off. lost mine. I don't have. Them. <laughs> I'm, I'm See, being that serious. They they guess, what? guess what? I still have mine because it's in the box. Oh, <laughs> I think I, I vacuumed it. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, but he has some other hands too, and the articulation on it is is really nice. It's a, it's a very fun figure, you know, especially if you grew up in that time, uh, raised off of Alf. You know, I love Alf. Alf is the best. I loved Alf as a kid, man. I, I, I always too. wanted to come back, and I thought in the '90s we were going to get it, and they just, you know, he did one eight hundred collect commercials or something. And that yeah, was, that was yeah. the sequel to Alf that we got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was weird. Um, all right, we're going to take a chat break. I'm going to take a potty break, and, <laughs> and I'll be back. <laughs> then we're going to talk some wrestling. Ooh, Let's do it. You know Sounds I like good. talking about that. All right, so uh, am I on? Okay, it's on. Uh, Axion Figs, once again, man, we're going we're gonna, to uh, give you like a VIP in the chat. Uh, <laughs> Gonna stick all it's gonna stick on on the shelves at local Walmarts. Please do because uh my Walmart sucks when it comes to Mine action too. figures, dude. Horrible. So the yeah, same go, shit for months. <laughs> I will I will send you some stickers. Go ahead and plaster it all over Walmart. I used to work for Walmart. I hate Walmart, so I can say this. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> dude, no, it was horrible. Like I honestly I got paid, I got paid to do nothing. I literally did nothing and got paid I worked like, at 18 bucks an hour. <laughs> I worked at the post office and I used to get chased by rats in the warehouse. <laughs> Did you not? Size the size of fucking cats. Hell. So before hold on, let me let me get through these <laughs> chats and then I, I, I got something for that. Hold on. Uh Axion Fix, once again, I'll stick I'll stick those decals on action shows at the local Walmart. Yes, please. Any any Walmarts, uh you know, hell, put them in Targets, Walgreens. Whatever you've got, just put them everywhere. <laughs> uh, at Jim Largo, uh, I think this is for you. I'll definitely need some tips and tricks for toy photography. Great guest. Um, Jim Largo does do some toy photography of himself. Uh, let's see if you ever go check out his page. I'm going, yeah, I'm going to check but, it uh, out. Yeah, see, I, any, any, any tips that you can give him, I'm sure he'll love to have them. Uh, let's see, he, he, he also posts some really cool stuff. I uh, really big into like. The, the action, he's getting into the action force, uh, you know, uh, He Man, all that fun stuff. Nice. We got we got him a Boglin. He loves Boglins now. <laughs> oh, I love Boglins, dude. Bo like, dude, those zombie ones, they're kind of. I just summer. seen them. I'm, I'm gonna pre order those, yes, I sir. <laughs> uh, Axion Figs, once again, uh, the toy community can be amazing, but it can also be really rough. It, it can, especially if, like, you know. You're new to the game. Like mm -hmm. you got a lot of people that's been doing this for a long time. And you know, being the new guy and and, and when I say toy community, I mean it in the mo in the sense of also not just like you know the photography side of it, but also the, like the collector side, but like us, you know, we're selling it, you know, like oh hey, you know, hey, I'm just trying to fit in, let you know who we are. They're like, Yeah, great, I, I get my stuff from here. Like, well, yeah. you could get it from there, and I'm glad, but I'm offering you something that they don't want. Exactly. A cheaper price on select on most things, and, and like we get a lot of comments. Like when we we blasted the thing on uh, social media, like uh, introducing what we do, they're like one guy was like, "Hey, um, a lot of your prices are the same as everyone else." Like, well, well yes, because we are locked in at what's called a minimum mm -hmm. average price, which yeah. means we cannot sell this any lower than this number. Yes, but everything else, I guarantee you, I will have it cheaper than anyone else. I promise you that. <laughs> And your shipping is off the hook because every package I've gotten from you, I'm telling my wife, like, look at this shit, man. The look at the quarters of the box. <laughs> yeah, Miss uh Miss Dark Claw. Uh she she does phenomenal Shout out to her. Shout yes. out to her. Uh, she she doesn't get enough uh recognition, but we always try to make sure she gets the love she deserves for her detail to packing and also fast shipping. Yeah, so I um I trained her how to do it. And then she got 10 times better than me. So <laughs> when I do have to go fumble around with a box now and pack my own order or something, uh, she she is 
up my butt, like doing a shake test, looking at the tape. She's like, why is there a wrinkle on the tape? Why is this label crooked? I'm like, girl, <laughs> right. you, you she, she's a pro. She's a she, pro. She is so good. When when we do have a bigger uh, Hello Dope warehouse and we actually have employees where we're packing, she's just going to be walking the line like a, a, a militant. <laughs> Tape's crooked. Yeah. Take that yeah. off. Blue box. Do it again. Oh, she is in charge of all distribution, man. Like, That's queen great. of it. Uh, Adam says, Ted, are you an inbox collector now? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Now I'm 50-50, okay, because there's some things like uh, crap. Bloody Pandora. I'm not I, opening this unless I get another one. You know? I didn't open that. Um, I still gotta get mine. You know, I keep some stuff to get autographed, and then I have about a hundred things in the closet here that I just don't have space for, and my wife won't let me leave in the kitchen. I have a Marvel Legends Modoc that hangs out in the kitchen, nice. and she's nice. gone blind to it now, so she doesn't even realize it <laughs> <laughs> until she watches this video like that mother. But uh, you're lucky you got it, away with it. It sits right there next to the microwave. She doesn't even know it's going to But uh, <laughs> I you know, brought I, my Galactus to my room. My wife's like, get that shit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's the eater of worlds. <laughs> she's yeah. Like, oh, fuck, get, yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> he's watching TV with us, man. Yeah. Dude, like I like I said, I, I, I was telling you earlier, I have like my uh, movie TMNT in my bedroom. I had moved some stuff around. Like I have like on the top shelf, I have uh, my Mythic Legions, mm -hmm. and I had switched out Father Christmas for Red Krampus. Okay, uh, Miss Miss Knight, she goes, "Why'd you put? Why'd you switch that out? That's <laughs> creepy looking. I would rather have like Santa Claus there. Like, well, it's not Christmas, and I want Red <laughs> Krampus. <laughs> like, yeah, no, she like." She notices all the small stuff that I do. Like my wife didn't like that figure. Which which one the uh, red Krampus? Oh yeah. I had to I, I stuck him in the back. She's like, he's too evil looking. I don't like him. Here's the funny thing. Like it's, like I said, it's still in the box. I because I, I it's still in my bedroom. So like all you see is the emblem on the box. She's like, I don't oh. like that. Mm -mm. That's fair. <laughs> like, if it's, it's gonna stay there. Your kitchen is for Jesus. No, it's in our room. Not in the oh. kitchen. Okay. At least she didn't see all the skulls in his backpack. Bedrooms yeah. for sinning. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um Frank, my, my 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 brother would like you uh to say forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. Yeah. Forget about it. Don't get me started because I'll keep going. I'm walking. You'll, you'll probably keep asking, so don't. It'll come. I'm, I, I'm waiting I, for the I next was one. raised in Brooklyn. Okay, I was like, I, 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 I know, I know. It's, that's very, very thick in New York. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> oh wait. Oh wait. Um, uh, so that's all the messages that we are. We're caught up. Oh, okay. cool. Before, Before we, he's, he's, he says, uh, he says yes. <laughs> Adam is appreciative. Yes. <laughs> um, before we get into wrestling, since I was coming back downstairs, I did grab my back alley dial. So oh, this nice. is a pink foam board. You can get it at like Home Depot, Amazon, things like that. This is actually a pretty big piece. Um, so what I did here, so this is the back wall to my back alley. This whole Dude, that's amazing. is actually for the, um, the garage door. So I wanted an articulated garage door that I could open or close, but nice. mostly I leave it closed. So there's something here that just kind of holds it up. And then I just got some posters like all over the universe. So there's a uh, Osborne for mayor. We got the wet bandits on there. We got a wanted <laughs> Batman. Uh, we have, uh, you know, join the foot. Um, just man, just give some yourself some credit, fun, man. That's, that's stuff dope. Stuff there. And then here I did try to install magnets, uh, but as you can see, I did not do a good job and they did fall out. Um, so one day I'll either redo this or fix it up. But for now, you know, you just prop it up against the back wall. Works out pretty well. Yeah, that's what I do. Just throw it up and take it down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is another question I wanted to ask you. Uh, cause I am terrible at putting my toys away, especially when I do the thumbnails. So okay. I'll do our thumbnails usually on Thursday. And when I come back down next Thursday, it's still sitting there and I go, Oh <laughs> crap, I forgot about this. Yep. I, I do that too. So See, here, here's, here's the secret though. He always uses the hood. So it doesn't really matter that the hood's still sitting there because he's going to use them again. <laughs> it's helpful. 
it is helpful because if I can't find the hood, there is a problem. And I'm like, fuck, where the fuck did I put him? Listen, there's a running joke with that figure in the toy community. We all call him Bill because he's the guy. He's the generic guy we used to die in every shot. Yeah. Because yeah. he has that expression. We just he gets killed in everybody's shot. <laughs> yeah. Unofficial figure of 2022 for me, man. Like number one on. The I love list. that figure. Yeah, oh, so good. He can do anything. Yeah. For the record, I found one. I, I it's on the way right now. Oh, so nice. Good. You love that. Enjoy that. You don't need the actual hood. It's a piece of plastic garbage. Just fucking chuck that thing. Uh, the gun effects are pretty nice on it. Yeah, they're cool. I lost them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And I don't need them. You know, who needs them when you have like Valiverse weapons packs exactly. now, you know? Exactly. At least you didn't vacuum Sergeant Slaughter's classes. Oh, it's, it's coming. I guarantee you it, 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 it will happen. That's why we don't vacuum down here. <laughs> No, I, I do need to vacuum down here. Um, all right. So we're going to talk a little bit about some wrestling. Sweet. Because um, we got about we got about 25 minutes. Are you good on time, Frank? Listen, I'm here to hang out with you guys. Cool, cool. Let's well, we do it. 25-ish minutes left, and then we'll see how you're feeling there, where we're at. Um, so you are a wrestling fan, obviously, or else you probably wouldn't be posting amazing shots of wrestlers as you are. Um, so who is your favorite modern day wrestler and what is the wrestler that got you into wrestling? Mm. All right. So modern day, I'm a big fan of Kenny Omega. Okay. I like him. I like what he does. I, I think he's gotten a little stale lately, but mm -hmm. when, when he was in new Japan, th yes. that brought me, yes. I was, I, you know, when they had the bullet club going and, and they were like rocking and rolling and he was having those five star matches. I was like, OK, this is my jam. I, I was so like th th that exact moment. I, I think he was doing I don't remember what his character was before that. But then, like, I want to say his match against Okada. He comes back as the cleaner. Yeah, yeah, that, like, was yes. that was it. That was it. That was it. That's the Kenny Omega I should always see. Yep. That I was it. Agree with that. So you, you pinpointed it. That was exactly the moment. I was yep. like, oh man. And then he just kept having those strings of matches with him. Yes. And it just got better and better. What are your thoughts of uh the storied rumor that Kenny Omega has said or not said that he would not be opposed for a WWE run? I think if WWE got a hold of him with Triple H in charge. I think he'd be good. I think, I think he'd get a good run. I Do hope. you think they would give him a better run than Cody? Because Cody is still he is still a WWE guy. Like he went yeah. through the system. But yeah. do you think they would plug him in in a quicker role in a main event because of I, the name, or do you think they kind of give him the we're going to treat you like a main eventer, but we're going to give you like the high mid card feel? Until we really see what you do in our system, yeah, I I think hmm, I would like to see him get the AJ Styles rub. Like he just comes in and just, psh, you know, because AJ right now I don't know what he's doing, but he I don't think it's much going on. He got well, injured. Well, I mean that was AJ's request. Like AJ, AJ pretty much went and said, "Look, like when that initial run he went through with John Cena and all that, that was the intro. That was like you know let's let's get to work." Now he, yeah. he's happy where he's at. He actually, I think once he's done and he retires officially, that he's going to be like a backstage like trainer or something. Gotcha. That effect. Like he, he's done it all. Like a, a, AJ Styles is a, I mean, I hate to say it, but he's the man's he has phenomenal. Yeah, I like, agree. You don't get, you don't get that name for nothing. And like no one will ever trash the, the, the work that that man has done. Uh, I'm not in the same breath. I'm not saying that Kenny Omega is bad, but I think that he may have a tougher time in WWE. I think you're fitting right. in yeah. than anywhere else. Cause it's different. Yes. Cause it's sports He'd entertainment, not he have to professional adjust. wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think Kenny has been kind of free to do his own thing, his whole career. And I think mm -hmm. somebody kind of putting a full stop to that. And only giving him like twenty five percent input on what he does, he might uh, not do so well. Right? Yeah. Or, or I mean, maybe he's willing to exchange that because, like I said, you're you're absolutely right. The New Japan Kenny Omega run 
absolutely fabulous. Like oh. that, that put Kenny it Omega was, it, on the it was, map. Yes. Yeah, those Chef's were beautiful. I got up at 5 a.m. to watch that shit, you know? Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just like, should I be drinking now? Or um, <laughs> It's 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> and, you know, right? when, when they started AEW, you really thought that, you know, Kenny Omega would take the lead on that. And I understand when they started AEW, they were like, okay, well, we're not going to just put the belts on ourselves. Yeah. It would have made sense. I wouldn't have been opposed to it early I, on. Honestly, I was very happy with like Cody's decision when they had that match with Jericho saying, If I can't beat you, I'll never hold the title. Yeah, while you have it like because I mean, for, for Cody Rhodes, he didn't need to have it. Yeah, like, I don't, it, yeah, it, I mean, it, it, it was it would have reminded me very much of like Vince McMahon when he, you know, when he had that. I mean, do rag Vince McMahon, you know, ECW <laughs> you re- champion. You remember that? Oh, of course. I, oh, yes. <laughs> Do rag Vince McMahon was by far the best. I loved it. Rocking that ECW championship. But like, that's what it, that's what Cody Rose would have reminded me of. Not so much the, the thugnomics of it, but, you know, Cody Rhodes saying, Jericho, if you beat me, I'll never challenge for the world title as long as you have it. That right there said to me that he understood his role as EVP wrestler backstage talent. Like he got all of it. Now the young yeah. bucks, because they're also EVPs, Kenny Omega, EVP. Do they still have those titles? For, like they're for now, it's about to end. Cause uh, Tony Khan saying, you know what? <laughs> it's mine. It's my money. I now call the shots. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if you guys enjoy it, but when they when they first started, there was a buzz to it, and I enjoyed yeah. it, and I felt like it had that indie feel, yeah. still to it. And they were bringing in, uh, bringing in a lot of talent that was good, but I felt like they brought in too much talent. Yes, yes. Uh, the the initial, the probably like the first nine months, I loved watching. AEW. I did too. I hated. The, like I, I'm still. I'm. I'll always be a WWE guy. But that first nine months, I was all about watching AEW. Me like, too. Uh, it, I haven't it, seen it in three weeks. Then it, you saw the turn. Like it really reminded me of late WCW, right? Exactly. When, like NWO yep. was starting to become very stale. You saw like all the all the things that were about to happen. Mm-hmm. And, like it now. Now Tony Khan's trying to like like save the ship. And I think he's doing okay at it, but the problem now is the story isn't there anymore. No. And All right, WWE I, is starting to excel under this new regime. I got a I got a question for you, Frank. Uh John Moxley versus a mystery opponent and a first blood match. Who wins? <laughs> Wait, but who's the mystery opponent? It doesn't is matter. That a, that's actually happening? Or that's no, I'm just asking. Oh, he's asking your opinion. Hmm. hmm. A mystery it's, opponent. It's a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that's a good question because I I really don't know, but I I, I wouldn't want to see Moxley win too much. I, I felt like I seen enough of him and he got the rub already. I like to see someone else get the rub. Well, the answer is the mystery opponent because John Moxley blades himself to death every <laughs> single <laughs> fucking match. Did you see the clip where they caught yeah. him, the camera <laughs> yeah. guy, by accident? Yeah. He just yeah. kept. Um, to mint like for me to mint to, to talk about John Moxley real quick, like a lot of people give Jericho credit for what he did with AEW in the the beginning, you know, mm-hmm. uh, like champion as he would refer to himself as. Yeah. But if you want to look between the lines, John Moxley really carried AEW on his back. He did for he did. a good year and a half, uh, to the point where, you know. As much as I don't like the, the the over blood shots that they do, but that became his shtick, and he served his purpose very well. I don't think that's anything you would ever see him do in WWE. Even though I think WWE is starting to lean more towards that PG thirteen, not so much NC seventeen. Yeah, they they pl- they're flirting with it a little. They're flirting with it, but I think at the, at the end of the day, USA and all of them are saying, "Look, no, yeah, we'll let you get away with some things, but at the end of the day, you still play by our rules." <laughs> yeah. 
I got Aaron fired up on this. Oh, dude, I, dude, I love talking dude. What up. what was that AEW pay per view where they threw in um Jericho had to click with him and they threw the guys in the pool? Oh, uh, was that the one where they were in the football field? Yes, the yeah. first time. All, yes, that was that was such a good pay per view. I laughed my <laughs> ass off when the guy was like, "I can't swim." It was like <laughs> I want to say it was like blood and guts. I might be wrong on the pay per view name, but I want to say it was blood oh, and guts. Man. It was such a good pay per view, and I was like, "Man, if AEW can keep doing this, you get you get a little bit of everything." And they just haven't been able to maintain that. Okay. Uh, I want to hit a couple of these real quick in the chat, if you don't mind. Uh, Matt Logic forty four, what's up? Good evening. We are glad to see you as always. Um, Adam saying Montel uh, Montez Ford will be the next WWE champion after Cody. Oh, Rose. I love him. Um, I love him. I mentioned I this when we did the wrestling that. show after uh, Elimination Chamber. I'm bringing it up again. Uh, I think WWE dropped the ball on Montez Ford on that singles run. They should have gone full go between I agree with him you. and um, Angelo Dawkins. He like, had that, buzz, man. Yeah, just you, had, you had a moment you, you you ruined it. Uh, he will forever be a tag team champion just like the Usos. They, well, it's, it's a shame when a guy like that bulks up like that because yeah. he was a smaller guy. He built himself up pretty quick. I really thought, you know, at least a good mid card run, you know. Um, I think I mean I think he'll get the US title. He'll hold the US title as his first solo title. But I mean, I think this kind of goes wrestler. back to like what we were talking about on um with um Sami Zayn. You know, Sami Zayn is going through the Daniel Bryan Kofi Kingston uh, mm -hmm. charade. Mm -hmm. I, at some point, he will hold the title. It may, it won't be the it will not be the undisputed one because, like I said, I think they're going to split the title at some point. But yeah, he will I, win a world title at some in point. the next two years. To be realistic, in two years, and I think Montez Ford will go down that same road. Maybe not the whole rigmarole of you're a B plus player, blah 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 blah. But I think he will at least hold it at some point. It just won't be this year. Yeah, I agree with that. What else we got? Uh, Axion Fades once again. AEW definitely overloaded the roster too quickly. I 100% agree. Brought in too much talent. I mean, you can say what you excuse me. You can say what you want that you know a lot of their roster is former WWE stars because they are uh, with a mix of that indie uh, talent. But you're doing exactly what WCW did. It, Quick question: not, They got Ring of Honor, right? They bought Ring of Honor, yes. So they have their own shows. Where do you watch that? Uh, well, Ring of Honor is a hasn't officially aired a new show under the AEW banner yet. That is supposed to be starting this spring. Okay. If everything goes the way is planned. I gotcha. Yeah, but I think they did re-release all the old yes. Ring of Honor, like the Honor Club. Is that what it's yes. called? Yep. Okay. Uh, so you can still go back online and watch... Uh, the older stuff so they released the archive at least um yeah. but yeah no it's just yeah, it's a just a ring of honor guys i used to go to a bunch of those shows they were fun yeah, yeah we really? went uh oh yeah six, seven years ago god has it been that long shut up it's not been that long <laughs> um adam's saying uh when disney buys uh wwe it'll become pg-13 It'll only be a basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Disney, Disney's buying up everything. I mean, I mean, I don't know if you heard. I mean, I know this isn't toy related. I wouldn't, but be uh, Disney is looking to potentially sell off uh, Marvel. Really? Yeah, I'll buy it, wow. Aaron. You talk to me into it. Let's let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Hello, dope Marvel. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, looking, they're, look, they're looking at selling several um, names that they have under their banner right now. Uh, Star Wars wow. is also another one. They're looking okay. at moving. I'll buy it. <laughs> I wonder why. Um, I mean, I don't know, but if I had to put my 10 cents on what it could be, is they if you look like so, like for Marvel, if you look at like the phase one, phase one was probably the best collection of Marvel movies you will ever get right. under the Disney banner. Phase two was okay, I mean it was still strong, but phase one was way better. But the ultimate fail. In a lot of people's eyes was Star Wars. Like yeah. the, the the prequels were mm. the prequels were better than the sequels of the sequel, <laughs> if you want to yeah. look at it that way. 
Uh, and I, think I wasn't George, too crazy about him. Yeah, I think George Lucas is look is like it's like dude, we fucked up. <laughs> you should have <laughs> just kept it. <laughs> but who's but who's going to deny Disney money though? They got Mandalorian. To me, that's been the best. I, I have not started uh, season three yet. I might start that tomorrow after I fail my uh, food safety test. So it was pretty know. good. It was cool. Yeah, yeah it was cool. It was very Star Warsy. It was. Yeah. it was nice. But um, I mean. But but what what made people and what what made people like it is it is it the fact that you get a deeper look into like the Mandalorian and and, and their style or was it Grogu <laughs> because it's an adorable Mando's little figure? I was intrigued by all the Mandalorians and I, you we haven't seen too much of that in the movies, mm. so I thought it was cool to to see in the show. Um, yeah. but it has that that it has a feel to it that they've been able to keep and I I like it. Okay, so, so far. How, how do you explain uh, the book of Boba Fett? Mm. That's, a, that's a touchy subject. <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> to, to keep it simple, I, I didn't really like that shit. Nobody did. They, they did my man dirty, man. All he did was sleep in that goddamn thing. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was like maybe two episodes out of all of it that was Listen, entertaining. He He's a badass, and they I felt like they just completely stripped him of that. Yeah. yeah, they turn him into a crush. Why there's not a season two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I was like, man, this show needs to pick up at some point, and it just didn't hit it for me. Nope. Yeah. Uh, actually, on figs, uh, Disney has almost destroyed Marvel. Let's sell it off. I mean, you're not wrong. Did you guys like She Hulk? Didn't watch it. So, anyway, moving forward on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. That's how he said that. Um, I only watched uh, like the first three episodes. I never finished it. So, Listen, yeah. I sat there and, and like a tear came down. I said, what the fuck is going on here? What is this? I, my, my hope, honestly, is... Um, like I, said, I now, love She-Hulk. What is this? Yeah, I, I think when they bring Daredevil back in, that new, that new show that they're doing, I think that's going to help re relive everything that like netflix started mm -hmm. and i hope they keep a lot of that because i heard they're not he's not gonna be it's not gonna be so dark well well one well see here's the thing though you know you gotta remember at one point disney was mickey mouse mm -hmm. everything's pg like 100 pg family oriented until logan and daredevil mm -hmm. are in uh, deadpool yeah. They said, you know what? Let's try, let's try a rated R movie to see what would happen. And I'm Disney stole all, all the money. <laughs> they say, Oh, we like this. So you <laughs> might you might be surprised on what would happen. It may not be 100 percent like Netflix gritty, but I think you're still gonna be satisfied if they keep, you know, at least most of that together. They gotta do this guy good, man. They, they gotta keep it going, man. We need that. Oh yeah, and uh, also Punisher. I, I, I need, I need, a, I need a new season of Punisher. I was, agree with that too. So Punisher good. was awesome. Uh, Axion Figs once again. Thank you. It's loading slowly. Uh, Mandalorian has two fan bases: the Mando fans and the Grogu fans. You are one hundred percent correct. Yeah. So I also feel like there's a third secret fan base, and that's um, <laughs> video game players because yep. every episode of The Mandalorian. He has to go on a side quest. You know, he's yeah. like, oh, I got to go do this thing. This is the that way. Is so true. And he, he goes somewhere <laughs> and he's so like, true. I'm here to do this thing. And they're like, but we need bread in our community. And he goes, well, where's the bread at? And they're like, it's behind that giant monster. And he goes, well, this is the way. <laughs> so he's got to go kill a giant monster to, to get the bread. And then they're like, oh, okay, cool. Well, here's this thing. And then it's over. Bum, 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 that is bum, so bum. true. Oh my god, that's <laughs> that, great. It's, it's just a side quest, man. Right. Side that's every great. Episode. I was waiting for it because, like, I was confused, and Aaron, I'm gonna try <laughs> not to spoil anything here. But, I'm gonna watch you know, it anyway. He 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 goes somewhere, he says he's gonna do a thing, and then he immediately just gets like side quests. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and uh I I don't even think he finished trying to do the damn thing he went out to do. Before oh. the end of the episode, I was like, I was like, bro, where are you going? <laughs> what you, I thought we were, I thought this was the way. Why are you going over here? <laughs> no, 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 that, that's the way. No, that, way. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, on figs, once again, uh, Disney can put it on Hulu like they want like they wanted to with the Punisher. Um, that's a yes, they could. Uh, 
Hulu's a safe place for that because you can get away with that rated R. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you know, Disney also says, I want, I want it on my platform. I'll do, I'm going to do what I want. So we'll see what happens when they do it. Uh, Adam, uh, biggest fans, the biggest fans of the Grogu fans. Uh, they love baby Yoda, man. Like that was they probably the hottest that, selling dude. figure in all forms, action figure, plushie, what lunch boxes. I mean, they sold that thing to death. Who would have thought, right? Who would have yeah. thought? Question for Frank. Do you do you have any Mandalorian Grogu figures and do you do any Star Wars photography? That's a good question. I had a Star Wars collection and recently sold it. Ooh, sad. No, I feel it though, because mine's I in did the that. <laughs> I did that because I felt like Mythic Legions needed more attention. I said, you know I mean, what? I'm you're not, not wrong. You're fa- that's fair. And Black Series kind of died a little bit for me. Like they've been doing too too much of the same stuff over and over. And I love Star Wars. Don't get me wrong. I got a Millennium Falcon there and a bunch of other stuff. But I kind of, I kind of, I, I have some stuff. Not as I got, much. I got as I my used Lego to. one down there. <laughs> yeah, like I got, I still have some. I got a Mando around there somewhere. Uh, I, I have, I have the. Um, I want to say it was like 2021 when they came out with the two different versions. It was the regular Mando, and then it was the um, that Beskar armor one, right? Is that the one? I can't remember what it was. It was like uh, there's so many of them now. They got the muddied one. No, it was all dirty. Uh, no, it was like a. Uh, I want to say it was like a shiny, the, the shiny oh version God. of the armor. Carbonite? Like carbonite? Yeah, the carb- carbonite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I have that one. That's a good one. I like that one. I think I have that one. I hate, that's hey. one thing I haven't opened. Uh, we got Articulated Chad in the chat. How you doing, Articulated Chad? How was the stream? I did pop in a little bit earlier. Um, hope everything went well. Thank you for stopping in. As I, I wanted to be there, and I was I was very distracted with uh, a, a very rough day, but I was there in spirit. And shout out to Articulated Chad because his show goes on at 7 p.m. every single Sunday. So you can watch nice. Articulated Chad from 7 p.m. to whenever the heck he feels like being done. Uh, and then at 9 p.m., this show, Hella Dope, the show that you are watching right now, goes live. And then when we wrap up at 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 10.30 Central Time, the Sunny Channel goes live. Yes. And then, uh, oh, you nice. know, I, I, Aaron and I go hang out, and they're all drunk and wasted. Yeah, and and then, we, then we pass out because, you know, yeah. <laughs> we drank too much yeah. on what we were sipping on. <laughs> I really tried to get through last week, and again, I woke up at 3 a.m. with this bottle in my hand kind of drooling. Phone's yeah, still on. Yeah. Got the, I, the, the, uh, the notification, hey, your phone's at five percent like i yeah. know like my airpods in and i'm just like <laughs> it's a random sunny video now and i'm like what happened mm-hmm. i gotta be up in three hours what the fuck was i doing yep this is what we call the toy block so you get six hours of toy talk or some form of toys and talking uh it's great content to... oh yeah absolutely is it if you haven't seen any of uh the sunny channel i definitely definitely go check it out i need uh, to check that out yeah, he's a com- comedian, actor, you know, toy enthusiast. Uh, nice. When we when we had him on the show, I like I asked Ted, I'm like, so every time I saw a uh, you know the Sunny Channel doing a review, I always see his hands. Like, are we interviewing his hands? Or are we interviewing him? <laughs> I'm like, oh, we, we got the person, so we're good. <laughs> well, he says that now on his videos, there, and he'll throw his his hands up. He's like, hey, it's Sunny, you know, because these are my hands. You know? <laughs> See, I, I'm glad I made a, 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 yeah. an impact on that. You know. <laughs> um. Yeah. Let's throw the chat the Chad comment up here. Yeah. Said, Sorry, I went lo- I went long last week. Ran into the start of your show. Uh, I'll be more mindful of cutting to my neon rambling. Oh man, you're good. You're good. Don't, I mean, the whole the whole right, idea right. is eventually, you know, it, it's good. Yeah, we yeah we we ain't here to you you create your shit, man. We're we're here doing doing us, man. We ain't trying to impede on anything. Like you you already moved your show up, and like, hey, that was that was very neighborly of you. We appreciate that. Yo, you can go the whole fucking toy block. Go to fucking midnight. We don't <laughs> care, man. You do you, dude. Absolutely. Fucking go create some good fucking shit. Hell yeah. Toy community needs that. You know, now we just got options. You know, they can watch our replay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
The we don't mind either way. And <laughs> a lot of people are going to watch this replay because freaking Realm of Toys 89 is in the building yes. giving us all his toy photography tips. Uh, but we are hitting about two hours here, so we're probably going to wrap it up because, again, Sonny will start in 30 minutes. And, uh, yes. you know, Aaron and I always do post-show. And I'll throw this link and, up, too. Once yeah. it's over, I'm oh, going to throw it up. Awesome. Um, so, Frank, uh, here's your opportunity. Promote whatever you want, your socials, uh, website, your discount codes, whatever, man. Sweet. Go to town. We're going to shut so, up. I have Instagram. You could follow me at Realm of Toys 89. You could also follow me on TikTok. I recently just started that. So it's basically you get some, you get a lot of recycled content and but also some bonus stuff thrown in. Yep. So I'm on TikTok. And um, if you guys need wrestling figures, you could check out Ringside Collectibles code Realm 89 saves 10%. And I want you guys to just go hit up Hella Dope Toys and just go get all the goods, man. Yes. Because there's some good shit on there. And that elf. And this week, I will be hitting you guys up to pre-order and get some stuff. We appreciate that. You guys got those zombie boglins. Yeah, got my attention. The zombie boglins. Yes, I saw we that, do. and I was like, oh, buddy. Here we go. I see on the figs. Great show, boys. Frank, great to meet you. Yes. Good to meet you, too, brother. If you're not following him, please make sure you do that. It's a, the, the, he, he puts out great content daily. <laughs> we got to do this again, man. This oh, is absolutely. Absolutely. You know, we're, we'll, have a, we'll have a talk in a little bit. But uh, a side note on the zombie boglins, uh, HelloDopeToys.com, to my knowledge, has the lowest price for zombie boglins. Uh, nice. Yes. I, I, I want to speak on that real quick uh, since you brought that up. Uh, I was, uh, you know, I was roaming through the uh the socials and there's apparently a another store not not crapping on them you know you do your biz they're running a a, a boglins bundle for 2.99.99 hey you do you but guess what that was our price no matter what you can get them we're selling them for 50 bucks a pop there you we're go selling them for 60 uh so you can buy all six of those and you still get it at 300 bucks no matter what Nice. Real quick, what's your favorite Boglins? Ooh. Oh, I can answer that easily. Uh, number one is Drool, because I have the OG Drool right here, signed by Tim Clark. Oh, do um, you? That's yes. awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We met him at PowerCon last year. He signed it for me. But, yeah, this That's is awesome. uh, this is my, my OG one. Uh, number two is definitely Crazy Clown, and I think I'm in the minority here, because... Chris Clown's just a swell guy, guys. I, I got him. Guy. He's uh, he's Dang one of my favorites. And Bastard. then uh, <laughs> Spunk, the new Spunk mold is number I love, three. I love Spunk. Uh, I we'll, we will be restocking that. So uh, if you haven't I got one, give us a little bit of time. We'll have those back in stock soon. Frank, nice. what's your favorite Boglin? I forgot his name, but I'm looking at him. The Pumpkin. Oh, yeah. Blopkin. Yeah, yeah. Blopkin. There you go. Yeah. Not to be confused with Blumpkin, people. <laughs> <laughs> he's my he's my favorite so far yes. oh it's a it's a beautiful he's got um he doesn't glow as well as um a crazy clown and the baga bones but still just absolutely beautiful oh baga bones is second for me oh yeah oh, so good. i i love that one um aaron anything you need to promote oh i got a lot of things into my mic lots of things uh um, right, so go for it here we go hello dope toys.com right now we have Pre-orders right now for the Mythic Legions. I said Mythic, not Mystic, because I go get them. Go get them. Uh, retail exclusives; those are on sale right now. Uh, Pre-orders for those will end at 8 p.m. on March 31st. So make sure you get those in. We are running free shipping through the U.S. So anybody in the United States, that's free shipping. Uh, also, take advantage of our multiple payment options: pay in full, pay 30 percent or we have the uh, installment plans available. So make sure you take advantage of those. Zombie Boglins, baby. They all glow in the dark. They are looking good. So make sure you guys get those pre-orders in on those. Uh, those are expected to ship sometime in June. So that's actually right around the corner. Uh, wow, that's soon. Oh, yeah. Uh, Necronomicus, uh, those pre-orders are still up. Also free shipping on those. Cosmic Legions Book 2. Those pre-orders are live. So make sure you guys are getting those in. Free shipping on those. I didn't even Other know you that, guys were doing those. Oh, baby. Come, do you not <laughs> oh, know you who guys, you, 
You're on our site all the time, man. We're hella dope, baby. (laughs) I got to get on the pre-order section. You guys got some stuff I didn't even know. Uh, Axion, yes, all payment options are working. Uh, I I spent many, many hours at 3 a.m. drinking and figuring (laughs) that out. (laughs) So yes, uh, the 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 payment options. Uh, you put thirty percent down today. You pay the other seventy percent when we get them in stock. You will get an email to make sure that the, for the payment. Uh, as soon as you get those payments in, we will ship out afterwards. So, uh, oh, is awesome. Blumpkin for fifty? Uh, Blumpkin <laughs> is not for fifty. Bl- it is 30... no, no. He's making he's making a is joke it? about a Blumpkin for. It, it... Oh, oh, oh yeah, no those those. Are, those. <laughs> Those are, those are free if you, uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Eric was about to be like, No, our blumpkins are free. <laughs> Blumpkin, blumpkins can be free if you, if you ask correctly. <laughs> you you got to be careful on Google, man. There's a big difference between a blumpkin and a blumpkin. Holy <laughs> shit. Man. The guys are going to kill me. <laughs> hide your kids, hide your wife. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we, we coming after everybody. Uh, but, um, but yeah, definitely make sure you guys are checking out Hello Dope Toys. We got a lot of stuff coming for 2023. Um, we will be, if you're in the Ohio area, which I know some of you aren't, uh, we will be at the Columbus Toy and Game Convention nice. uh, March eight, ni- March 19th. 19th. And then we will be at PowerCon August 11th, 12th, and 13th. Oh, so come check us be out. Awesome. Yeah, we, we just got some good news that Valorverse will be at PowerCon along with Four Horsemen. Uh, Spiro Studios will also be there, amongst other guests who has not been announced yet. The Foosh will also be there. Again. Oh, the Foosh! So we got. Foosh will be we there. might have to shoot our shot with them again. See if we can get in. Yeah, we, we'll get we'll get Rubble on here before then. It'll be fun. Yeah, absolutely. On our road to PowerCon. <laughs> road to PowerCon. Yes, yeah, I think we should start that here in like April, April or May. <laughs> nice. April or May. Uh, July is fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> start it right now. Right now, road to PowerCon. <laughs> August, motherfuckers. Articulated Chad, PowerCon. Are Where's you going to PowerCon? Uh, yeah. Articulated Chad, are you going? Are you going to be there? If They'd anybody to is that. going to PowerCon, uh, we will have a booth. We will be selling toys. Toys will still be the same price as what they are on the site. What's like, PowerCon? Uh, it used to be a He-Man related toy show. And uh, over the years, since Mattel kind of pulled out, it's less He-Man. He-Man's still in the heart of it. Um, yeah. But it's a really good place for uh, smaller independent toy brands and yeah. some bigger ones. So. NECA was there last year. Nacelle was there for Horsemen. Yeah, I've Whoosh. seen some videos. Where Where's it located at? Columbus, Columbus Ohio. Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. I got to make a trip from. out there. You should I come like an eight-hour drive for you, man. Yeah. I, oh, man. Let me work that out. Let's see what Let's happens. Go. Well, buy, yeah, no. we'll, we'll get some beers. Let's yeah. go. Let's see. I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, yeah. yeah let us know. We'd uh, love to have you. Come hang out in the booth for a little bit. Yeah. If you get bored. Not that you can get bored of PowerCon <laughs> now. No, 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 you can't get bored there. No, You're going to spend I'm half the... There, I'll go spend, broke, but I ain't going to get bored. You'll spend half the day in the Valiverse line, and then you can come hang out. Exactly. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Axion Figs will be at PowerCon. Uh, Axion, for real, reach out to us. Uh, we, uh, we'll get together. We'll get some beers and hang out. Yeah, we're trying to get uh because Bobby and Laser Pants and now Articulated Ninja will also be at PowerCon. Yes, I was gonna mention so that. that's a big that, deal. Uh also big looks deal. like uh articulated chat plans to be there. Ooh. And he'll I bet he'll be doing some uh cosplay with his Ooh. wife there. I would love oh, to nice. see that. Yeah, that would be awesome to check out. Uh Aaron, you got anything else to promote? Uh no, but apparently uh Adam says that he would gladly get uh, Realm of Toys a hotel room. So there you go. Right. And and that's that's gonna out. be that's gonna be hard to get too because yeah. uh, it's gonna it's gonna you. fill up quick. Uh, last year was big. This year is bigger. Yeah. So nice. w- welcome to the family, uh, Rumble Toys. With my brother, my you. brother's willing to offer you a hotel room. You you're in. <laughs> well, he Thank he you. did he did make him be like his puppet. Like, hey, say this <laughs> thing. That's, <laughs> hey, that's you know, what honestly, I probably would have done the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Like hit, me, hit me with all the like classic New York lines. <laughs> yeah. See, there might be a catch to this hotel room. He's going to be like, yo, do a voicemail for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have a list for you. Can you just, <laughs> just read through this in order? Yeah. And then your room is comped. <laughs> He's like, yo, Adam's not here right now. Leave a message. Okay. 
Capiche? <laughs> Forget about <Beep>. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try to reach out and forget about it. <laughs> Everything oh, has God. a price, sir. Yes, it, it, it really does. <laughs> uh, Jim Largo sounds like fun. If they do ever do Guatemala Toy Fair, my guest room is at day. If they if they do something in Guatemala, I would love to come down. Yo, I'll come crash the Largo Lair, hang out with Eduardo. Bro, Hell that yeah. sounds cool. And again, check out Jim Largo. You can check him out in two places. Uh, Largo's Lair on YouTube and learn all about the sweet, sweet Action Force lore, amongst other things, including a really cool Boglin review. Uh, Mm -hmm. And then you can also check him out usually Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on Weird Fantastic Toy Adventures. Uh, They do a lot of live streams and uh, really try to get the community involved. So uh, Jim Largo is a great guy. We appreciate him. What was the second channel again? I'm sorry. I want to write that down. Uh, Uh, Weird uh, and Fantastic Toy, toy adventures. adventures, yeah. It's with okay. Bill and Jim. Uh, they usually do a live stream Friday night, Saturday <clears throat> night, and then like Sunday afternoon. Yes, they they stay busy. They okay. stay busy. They go hard all weekend. Yeah, I'm like, dude, I, I'm I'm trying to do it once a week. God damn, I know. <laughs> I know. We we had to do twice a couple weeks ago. Whew. Right. It's oh, tough, and, and ended a wrestling show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, actually, on figs. Hey, I'm walking here. Did you <laughs> did you see the Verizon commercial where it's uh what's her name from SNL? They're sitting on the Verizon sign. They're like, hey, yep. I'm sitting on a sign here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love it. Uh, articulated Chad says uh, I was asking Frank, uh, where are you from in New York? I think you're from you're in Jersey though. I'm in Jersey. I'm currently located in Jersey now, but I was raised in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Not too far from downtown Brooklyn. <laughs> Money, money, yeah, 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 that money. Don't get me started. Hey, <laughs> all right, Aaron, you got anything else to provide? Uh, no, man, just check out Hello Dope Toys, man. We we got we're, we're doing the thing slowly yet surely. Uh, enjoy the ride with us. Check us out on all the socials, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook group. Uh, I think, e- well, we've been debating, uh, if either doing a Patreon and then you no, know, oh. I, I don't want to take your money. I don't. But at the same time, an elf. if we can get your support that way, you get special perks out of it. Mm-hmm. I think that's going to be a better route. Or we do the um, the Discord. We're still unbouncing. Yeah, I'm bouncing not, between the two. We're not there yet. These are just thought bubbles. They're thought have. bubbles. It's good to plan out. ahead, though. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> plan ahead. yeah. We don't know what's going on yet. Um, all right. Cool. Now that Aaron's done, took him yeah. 20 minutes to fucking close out, but some of that was good shit. Free shipping on Mythic Legion pre-orders. Ooh. Yeah, nice. Uh, my name is Ted Darklaw. Uh, you can find me on Instagram under Ted Darklaw, where I probably will not post and not get to your message for maybe 24 to 36 hours. That's my bad. I don't have... Make that more two to three weeks. We get look, we get we get blown up a lot. So I turn off the Instagram notifications. I let Aaron deal with that. Aaron gets blown up. I, I do. Uh, and then Hello Dope Toys on Instagram is getting close to six hundred followers, man. So congratulations. Spread the word. Like it's a big deal for us. Uh, we we're we're on the road to one thousand. That is the current goal. Yeah. And we get to we get to one k. I'll probably just chill for a little bit by the way but, uh, since you since you did mention that we are, we just crossed 702 on tiktok we so look at that, that's a huge mark for us yeah um, that dance thing that we did really took off we're like oops, 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 <laughs> oops, oops, oops. um and yeah outside of that hellodopetoys.com like we're a, a small no-name toy website who uh, sell things at a really cheap price, package and them really well. Shipping. Yeah, and shipping. yeah, we package them and we Chris. ship them out like the the next day. Um, yeah, you know, well, you catch us early enough. Or Sunday. <laughs> yeah, you Could catch be. us early enough in the morning, and it'll go out the same day. You know, we got a lot of late night buyers, man. They'll order at like two a.m., dude. Wait, I'll wake man. up and I'll be like, I'm "Oh, dead sleep." Like I get a notification at one thirty in the morning. Someone yeah. bought something. Like, hey, thank you. Got work to do. <laughs> sleep. <laughs> time to time to go to work. But yeah, the things like that go out the same day. If you hit us up in the afternoon, it'll probably go out the next day. But it's going out super fast, packaged well, priced the best that we can possibly do it. Um, but we appreciate all of you. Frank, do you have any final words for anybody? No, it's been a pleasure. 
I appreciate you guys. This this really made my day. I had a good time with you guys. We appreciate it, man. Actually, and I, I look forward to hopefully doing this again. I have one more note, and then we're gonna well, then we're gonna go. Frank, I've been having one. I've been having a really bad day. Two, I've been having a really bad week, and uh, I was really down before this show started. And you popped in there with this energy and this smile and this big laugh, and you're just the friendliest motherfucker. When I went on my siesta, when, you know, I said goodnight to my wife. I was like, that guy, Frank, is just a ray of sunshine. And you really you really turned my day around, man, because I was feeling like shit today. And I, I appreciate your good vibes yes. rubbing off on Keep me going, because I, I really I really needed that today, man. So thank you very much. I'm glad, my friend. Uh, before I'm we glad. end up, I just want to hit these last few uh, messages in the chat. Oh, and we can go We're never going to end this show. We'll be a, we'll <laughs> end it. We'll end it. Uh, articulated Chad uh, Frank says that uh, he, too, is from uh, was from Brooklyn, uh, Wash Avenue, Prospect Park. OK, OK. I got I'm family good. down there. All right. Yeah, Brooklyn kids. Uh, Jim Largo, respect for Brooklyn, New York. Uh, what else we got? Axion Figs, uh, TikTok Blue because everyone's secret relationship. Wait a minute, how'd you know about that? How do you know about that? Hold we on. we got drunk last week and talked about it, bro. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, <laughs> remember, remember the time we used to be rappers. No, uh, okay, we're, not we that that. we're not doing that bit this week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Adam says uh, we do we do have a name and it is hella dope. Yes, it is hella dope. The best name that you can think of that will stick in your mouth forever. And the last comment of the night before we sign off is from Articulated Chad. Awesome show, guys. Thank you very much, Articulated Chad. Uh, great show yourself for the moment that I was there. Uh, let's keep this Sunday toy block going. Uh, we want to make it a thing and we want to blow it up. Uh, so make sure you guys in the next, and my, my clock says 14 minutes, uh, the Sunday channel will go live. Nice. Show some love to him. Let him know that you came from Hello Dope Toys. Uh, stick around. Uh, he has great content. Ask him about uh, his movie that he was in, uh, which was called uh, Idiocracy. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's, it's actually a good movie. Nice. And yeah, and then check out Chad next Sunday. Toy Block will start all over. All right, guys, we're going for real this time. All right, I love thank you, you all. Thank we'll you see you next week. <laughs> Appreciate you, fellas.